Alrighty, hello folks. Welcome, welcome. It's uh, your favorite internet livestream host, Gringus McBingus. Let's play some Scrap Mechanic. <laughs> no, no, not a public game. <laughs> yeah, wow. <laughs> Immediately, the stream hasn't even started and you're asking. No, 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 no. Today, today I've got some challenges to go through. Uh, we're going to start with the, 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 the ones that I tried to download. Down here, chair parkour. Definitely a very attractive thing for me. Let's hop in and uh, see what it's all about. Bold of you to assume you are my favorite derf. I know. I know. <laughs> okay, so I know nothing about this challenge. Absolutely nothing. You just gotta Starting just gotta sit in a... today. Oh thanks. Thanks for the 20, 20 knocks. Knock on wood. Speaking of knock on wood. Actually, it has nothing to do with knocking on wood, but the stream title today, Manic Perch Sack, that's, uh, that's an anagram for a scrap mechanic. You know what else is an anagram for a scrap mechanic? China Creams PC. Just thought I'd, uh, just thought I'd share that. So what am I actually doing here? <laughs> I can use this chair. I can use this chair. I know it's a chair parkour, but what am I doing? I guess let's just go up to the line. Do I gotta sit in every seat? Or do I just gotta jump to the next one? Because I think I could just do that. Skip a whole lot. Yep. Oh, no! Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> well, this is pretty, pretty interesting. Is this, um, yeah, it turns around. Good. Well, now what? Oh, well. Well, now what? What's that over there? Don't oh my God. Double down pointing triangles, 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 double down pointing triangles. Yeah, so uh, it doesn't doesn't seem like you even have to worry about uh, falling down, right? You can just go straight to the end. What's the worst that's gonna happen? These sensors don't seem to do anything. So you just go straight to the end. Yeah. <laughs> what? What's the big deal? <laughs> okay. Well, they tried, I guess. I don't know. Maybe these sensors are supposed to do something. Ow. Huh. Ah, there we go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yep, yep, just hide them. It's easy, it says. Well, yeah, I imagine it is. Let's just fall down. Go right here. Well, there we go. And then we got the golden toilet. We can just jump straight to the end. We don't need this. Oh, but that's pretty cool. I should have used that. <laughs> that's pretty cool. I, I should have used that. Well, let's just jump to it. All right. Now what? Was there a, was there a button? There was. What? What? This doesn't end the challenge? What am I doing? <laughs> what? <laughs> I think this challenge is broken, guys. Alright, well, I tried. <laughs> Imagine it counts how many times you cheated and won't let you finish if you did. Oh, you know what? That's, 
that might be it. That might be exactly it. But we got quite a few, so the next one is I gotta go get it. Scrap Mechanic Monster Jam. I might also pop into creative mode, try building something. 13? It's a race? <clears throat> you checking subscribers creations? Uh, that's... Uh, <laughs> I, would, I would very much like to do that more often, yes. But it's much easier to do with challenge mode, which is why I've done it a, a whole lot more often. What is this? Just a switch? Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. Well, since... Let, let's go take a look and see what I actually have to do. Because uh, I'm guessing I just got to beat that red thing, right? That red thing? That thing over there? The, the thing that's red? Oh, you're right. I should have tried holding the button for the last challenge. Yeah, there's no way that they uploaded the challenge and it's like broken like that. Unless it's maybe an old challenge. So wait, how wait, what am I what am I doing here again? <laughs> how do they measure who wins the race? There must be sensors under here. Oh. I heard a spud gun. You hear that? Not on this side? Okay, so it's just, uh, don't, don't let the spud gun fire. Alright, so I'm immediately gonna cheese this challenge. I just gotta go all the way back. You know what, the, the quick way to do that is this. <laughs> there you go. What I'm gonna do is... Oh, is this, is this attached? to the wall. No, it's not. It is. It is. It is attached by glass right there. Shoot. Okay, well, is there anything else loose in the map <laughs> that I can, like, push around? I think this. I don't have any tools, though. This looks pretty loosey-goosey to me, though. Yes, it is. You know what that means? Cheese. Somehow. I'm gonna use this to mess up my opponent before the race even starts. Sabotage. Come on. <laughs> Come on, just go. Oh, this is so <laughs> this is not worth it. <laughs> but at the same time, is very much worth it. I wanna I wanna do it. Yeah, 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 Nope! Yeah. Oh, it's gonna, it's just gonna get stuck. Shoot. Yeah, I can't exactly push that now. Well, alright. I mean, I, I, I suppose I can give it a, a normal try. And by that, I mean balancing this one on my head. <laughs> the, the lengths that I will go to for some cheese. Alright, alright. I don't... I don't... I, okay, this is, this is dumb. I even got myself stuck. Oh my god. <laughs> it's, it's, all right, all right. All right, all right. I'm out. I'm out. Maybe that's going to be enough to mess him up. <laughs> Jeez. All right. So, the, the, like, I'm not reading any instructions. I'm guessing we just jump on in. The switch is connected. And we're connected too, so we'll disconnect at the same time. All right. 
Three, two, one, go. Boop, 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 boop. Bing. Front facing baby chick. Cheese. Front facing. I mean, I'm just holding chick. W. Cheese. Front facing baby chick. Cheese. Oh, okay. Front don't hold up. Facing baby chick. Cheese. Front facing. I think I lost. Baby chick. Cheese. Front facing oh. baby chick. Cheese. Front now it's going back. Baby chick. Cheese. Front <laughs> facing baby Thanks, chick. Thanks, Yorick. Cheese. Front <laughs> facing baby chick. Oh my God. Cheese. Front facing baby chick. <laughs> what is the cheese. car doing? Front facing baby chick. Cheese. 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 Front facing baby chick. Oh my god. Front facing baby chick. Oh my god. Okay, I gotta lower the limit for two dollars. Holy moly, that is too cheap. Front facing baby chick. Cheese. Front facing baby chick. Cheese. Front facing baby chick. All right, but I, I, I like these uh, skill-based challenges. I think I think I just gotta pay attention to to my track, not so much the other one. Oh, oh, the 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 messed up track on the other one's gone this time. So I got uh oh. Oh oh oh! It messed up. It messed up. That's good. But like, I also messed up. Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! <laughs> come on! No! <laughs> no, the crowd! Ah! <laughs> uh, these monster truck shows are much more dangerous than you might think. Alright, well... <laughs> neither of us made it, so I didn't have to sabotage anything. Gotta love these uh, non-deterministic physics of scrap mechanic. Right. Hey, there we go. That's good. Oh, that was good. That was good. That was good. Good traction. Oh my god. What? Okay, I did it. I did it. I did it. I did it. <laughs> I forgot there's 13 of these. Oh no. I mean, this is really cool. I actually really like this. But I like these uh, skill based challenges too, just in general. This is one that I haven't really seen before. I'm liking it. Nothing I can really do to mess this guy up though, huh? Maybe. Here. <laughs> I'm such a cheater. Oh, they're so messed up right now, what? But if I put it back, for my sake, yeah, then then it's fixed. Well, whatever. I'll just I'll just give it a try normally. I don't have to cheese everything. I mean, I do, but also thanks, GM Sarins, for the membership. Oh God, I should I gotta pay it. I gotta go. <laughs> and uh, Patrick as well. Oh my God. No, I'm not. There's no way I'm. I'm... Wah! That was very good. Gosh, there's gotta be something that I can miss this. It might hmm. You know what? I think I think the safest bet for cheese is just to do this. Boop. Wait, wait, wait. There you go. Boop. Click it. And then just go here. Oh, what what stopped it? Wait a second, what stopped it? No, 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 no. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. Drive on my track, not your track. Now that's some tasty cheese. If I can get it to drive the race for me and win for me, but now I'm just gonna lose. How did it still manage to win, dude? This challenge has some like amazing AI. <laughs> it doesn't actually, but. <laughs> You, you got to you got to love the luck. All right, I'm 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 going to try it again. <laughs> Cuz it's there's so Okay, wait. There's something in there that There's a switch in there. I see the switch. 
why did it stop? Oh, it just stopped and started again? That's probably programming for the for, for, for the track. They probably just did that on purpose then. Uh, just a timer in the build. To take a jump appropriately. But now I can just win. Are you still doing the glurp streams? I, I could do some more drink more glurp. That's always a fun game. There's a couple of other game demos though that I want to give a try maybe tomorrow. So I don't know, we could probably do some glurp on Sunday. <clears throat> All right. So now I'm driving this truck. I mean, I think I found a pretty reliable way to cheese. I don't know what this switch is. We can maybe just like, flick this. Flick that. Like that. Interesting. 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 <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm, I'm going crazy. Why did I flick the switch out here? Ah, uh, it's it started it stop started whatever. <laughs> that might be a more reliable cheese. Oh, 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 oh! God, how am I still failing? No, no! Come on, wheels! Oh my God! Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, you bought the game. You bought the uh, Drink More Glurp game. Yeah, we're gonna we're we're gonna see your professional skills then. All right, let's go. I'm yeah. I'm just holding W. I mean, it should be still beatable. Without cheese, right? I don't need cheese to win. I just like cheese. And some very good luck. Oh, that's a fancy truck. Well, let's just hop in and give it a go. It, it seems to be a really easy challenge. I, I'm just obsessed with cheesing. Oh, some big old ramps this time. Kerbal Space Program 2 launched a week ago. Jeez, I don't think I even played the first one. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No! Ah, skid right at the end. Well, that means I cheese it. Oh, wait, the switches. Well, whatever, that works too, I guess. Nice. <laughs> nice. Oh, gosh, no. Gobble. All right, what do we got this? Oh, this time I get to drive the cool truck. Because they always introduce an even cooler truck. I like how this is like a tournament. All right, well, let's give it a good old college try. I was also just uh, um, like taking it really easy start of this year 2023 that's the that's the year that we're in right <laughs> well, look at that I beat that one vanilla <clears throat> but yeah I want to get uh, back into some more uh, plasma back into some more Roboco all these awesome building games 
I even saw, it was like looking at some of the old things that I did with, uh, oh, the other card didn't even make it. And I was a dingus that thought that I could flip. But yeah, Main Assembly was, a, was another game that I haven't touched in a while. Alright. Is my opponent just never gonna go, go over go over the hump? Is this just a free Oh, hold on a second. <clears throat> Got a cat messing about. Yeah, instead of, uh, you know, just asking to use the door, it just sometimes <laughs> will start pawing at random other things. I guess let's just, uh, yeah, just, just vanilla. It's a pretty easy challenge. We got the fresh van. Man, this gives me Mystery Machine vibes. Oh, and is the other one supposed to be, uh, uh, shoot, I, I remember some names of, like, famous monster trucks. Gravedigger, I think. Gravedigger. Is that sus geometry incorrect? Wait, what? Sus geometry? Huh? Well, let's go over here and sabotage. We're gonna sabotage by clicking this and waiting. I don't know, something like that. Maybe it's different logic for every car, so I have no idea. Maybe I gotta press this one first. Yeah, that seems right. We <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. So that's a good sabotage for me. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so I don't even know how I feel about this level of cheese. Poor guys all the way back there. But now I get to drive the cool. Alright, we'll try it, we'll try it normal. How many do we do so far? Um I'm liking them. I like the I, I really like the, the the one with the with the big flip. Uh oh. No, no, no. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, that was close. <laughs> and I can totally see why people go to these monster truck shows. If if the trucks like actually do these things. Man, look at the exhaust. That doesn't do anything, right? Like it's all cut. <laughs> I mean, like actually on actual trucks and monster trucks. I mean, I guess it does a little bit. But, like, it's all coming out of the one pipe anyway. Whatever. Whatever. <laughs> alright, alright. Oh no. Oh no. Where am I going? No, 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 no. Ah. Uh. Wait a second. Oh, never mind. I thought that I could maybe like run on foot to the end, like click the switch and just like run to trigger the the spud gun. Nah, I think I just get a. Where is this second switch? Bam! Sabotage! It is mine. Oh. <laughs> 
Also, so many random games that were sent in to me that I've never really tried before. Like new demos and stuff. Woohoo! Woohoo! Let's drive on out of here. Woohoo! Alright, now... Now we gotta jump over a camper. Man, all these different truck designs, but they're all monster trucks. I like the I like the detail. The entire world of Oh god, it explodes? <laughs> That's awesome. Wait, 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 wait. Wait. I'm gonna try again, normal. But if I'm really bad at this, I gotta sabotage. There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. Okay, okay, blew off my wheel. Okay, okay. Oh! Ah! Nah. Darn. Almost had it. All right, sabotage it is. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna stab your toes. What am I doing? Oh yeah. <laughs> what? <are laughs> one of the worst times to forget what I was doing. Is he gonna win the race for me? Nice. <laughs> That's great. Oh, that's cool. I mean, where in the world are you going to find a, a police monster truck? Where in the world does the police actually need that? All right, all right. That was a pretty good jump. Landed it pretty good. Don't tell me you got to do a flip. Okay, okay, okay. Good, good, good. No, 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 no. Ah, shoot. I think I just took that with way too much speed. All right, here we go. There we go, good landing. Don't, don't, don't go off course. Don't go off course. That was way too much speed again. But just land it. All right, all right, all right. Oh, that was close. What, 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 what's this? Oh, now I just gotta watch the race from up here? Okay. Now we're a spectator. That's pretty cool, too. Great way to finish. Finish the challenge. Looks like it's the Grave Digger versus some other black pickup truck. Wow. <laughs> That's cool. Wait, so did the flag spin because that one won, or did what, did the truck just hit it? Huh? What am I doing now? This is super cool, but like, why? Why am I doing this? Oh. Oh, it was okay. It was just a little play area. <laughs> Whoops. All right, finish. <laughs> well, that's pretty cool. You can always go back and play that ginormous level just to play around. It's kind of unfortunate that you can't like share something like that as a single blueprint in creative mode without like crashing the game, or you know, just in general. It's it's weird that it's kind of like tucked away behind a. An entire challenge in challenge mode. Not that it's a bad thing. Like, it by itself is not a bad thing. That's very cool. I just wish that there was a the, the, the game could you know share that a little bit easier. Dream Core. What am I? What what is Dream Core? 
Dream Core. Oh, is that is that like uh, the core challenge? Did you ever finish Chambers? Mm, I don't. I don't know. I don't know if I did or not. Dream Core by no one. Hello, Evans. Awesome YouTube channel. Oh my god. Alright. Dream Core. Dream Core. What is Dream Core? Is that like parkour? In a dream? Am I dreaming right now? This is like back room vibes, but not. I mean, I'm outdoors touching grass. So do I just gotta find a switch? Is that what we're playing? Find a hidden switch? Connect it to the bed? Oh, we can't sleep in the bed. Well. Well. What the heck <laughs> is this? What? Okay, maybe I gotta read some instructions. Hold on. This challenge pack has no description. Awesome. Awesome. Alright. So, I guess we'll systematically check these houses one by one. Just a quick peek in the windows, I guess. What about these towers? Why do they have such a weird footing? Shouldn't they shouldn't there be four feet per tower? Seems like weirdly off balance, you know? This house is in a different direction. Orientation. Anything in here? What am I doing? <laughs> what is this challenge? <laughs> the things that you guys send me. Like, what? Aha. Some... No, no. There's some missing squares. Okay, never mind. Well then. Well then. Why would the corner house have any answers for me? None of these houses. Nothing along the side. Oh. I mean, let's just jump off. Hold on, hold on. I saw something back there. I think it was just like the second house in the back. This one or this one? Or maybe they just did, you know, forgot a section of paint on the bottom. Oh my god. Oh, hey, Lucy. Not too much time, but uh, once I get on my computer, I'll start construction on the next chapters. New turret tape. Wait, what? Huh? Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Your, your challenge back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me know as soon as it's ready to go. I'll... Be sure to do that. Yeah, it was that house. Did I check inside that house? Maybe I should just um, go this way. I haven't exactly done that. What else should I, like, keep an eye out for? Antennas on top of all of the water towers? All the water towers? You see how I'm, like, almost falling through the ground? Gotta love the scrap mechanic physics. I can't walk on a flat ground without almost falling through. What is that? I mean, I found it. Spud gun! All right, we're going places. Now what? <laughs> now what? Now what? Well, gee, if I fall off, do I lose my spud gun? There, oh god, don't tell me there's like a hidden switch on one of these antennas. That's gonna be the worst. There's also just a bunch of water towers here. 
I think they copy-pasted a bunch. And here's the, the line between them. <laughs> Scrap mechanic, why can't I just stand on flat ground? So that also explains why they built the, the challenge floor so thick. Because they probably ran into that problem themselves. What am I looking for? Aha! Yeah, it would be too convenient if there was just an exposed switch here. Anything else that I can sneak a peek? Not really. Oh, I, I seriously just got to check all these houses. For what? The challenge hasn't even started. What am I doing? <laughs> this is, ah, that doesn't come with instructions either. I mean, do I bother? That's not a switch, that's just part of the antenna. Shoot. Shoot, 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 shoot. This is a very short water tower, what? And it has pistons, what? Is there another short water tower? Not really, I think this is the only one. No connect... Okay, okay. Progress being made. Oh my god, Scrap Mechanic, just let me jump up. That... That was it. <laughs> oh my god, that was <laughs> so anticlimactic. What? Alright! <laughs> that was Dreamcore. <laughs> uh, next one. Clone Drone in the Scrap Zone. That's another game reference to another game, Clone Drone in the Danger Zone. I used to play that game. I think I also made mods for it. Basically, though, it's just like a uh, bot rush with like wave after wave of bots. You just gotta go. Gotta go into the danger zone. Let's see how they did with the scrap mechanic. Oops. Oh, we already started. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. There you go. All right. Highway to the scrap zone. Dum 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 dum. Dum 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 dum. I guess we put it in. Turn it on. So what is this supposed to be like? Uh, you know. <laughs> what? <laughs> With his last breath. He gives us the battery and tells us the very important message. Take the next right down the hall. Alright. So, so that's what we do. <laughs> hey, another battery. Potato! And a sale sign. I'm taking the sale sign. Oh, looks like we have some... Shop. We can purchase items. Make it the purchase. Purchase. Uh, how do we how do we purchase? We get potatoes. What? Get two potatoes for two lights. Oh oh, so the li the lights are just the batteries. Okay okay, I can purchase one thing. Fuel... What is the fuel for? Hmm... I guess I gotta start with a, with a hammer. I mean, I could waste my purchase right now on spuds. And then 
not be able to fight. I think that's a soft lock. But you know, you know I'm gonna try to cheese this, right? You know I'm gonna try to cheese this, right? Oh, some something's freaking out out there. I heard it. So, something's freaking out out there. <laughs> Wait, did that door open? Can't press it again. Alright, well... Did I come from here? I came from... I desperately want a cheese. Whatever. Just do it anyway. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hold on a second. My, my, my chat froze. There we go. Hammer allows for more cheese. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm trying. I mean, I try to do that. Wait a second. Wait a second. The glass. Oh, there's glass under there. Shoot. Okay, I thought I thought it could be sneaky and just like yoink, yoink some extra potatoes as the display model. All right, fine. No cheese for me. Okay, that's the danger zone. Is it just a ball? Ball receptacle for the exit? So then we probably gotta do a couple of rounds of this. What is this? Batteries? Batteries are here? <laughs> I don't like the looks of this. Is this the danger zone or what? What are you doing, duck? What are you doing? Hmm. What do you do, duck? What do you do? Oh, this is probably the thing that freaked out. Yes. It is the thing that freaks out. <laughs> what? What is this vanilla anti gravity stuff? What? <laughs> <laughs> I might have to reset. Or just magically fix itself. Cool. Cool. Magically fix itself. Aha! I gotta fight bots. So is this the danger zone or the other one's the danger zone? I don't know. I mean, I'm fighting waves of bots. Don't... Stop. Stop running away. That was all for a battery? Okay. Fight a couple of bots for a battery? I can do that. I still have some health. Oh god. I'm out. No! No, 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 no. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. I'm running. Running like a little baby. Little baby boy. Oh, hey! Technically... Hmm, technically I don't have to fight him. Okay. Okay, I gotta hold it. Uh oh, that maybe maybe okay, yeah, maybe they're really putting in the anti-cheese. No 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 <laughs> Hopefully they can't like break stuff. Nice. Oh god, not nice. <laughs> no What was that tote bot doing? Oh, get, get played. Wait a second. Oh, okay. Ne oh, shoot. I don't have a paint tool. I forgot that paint tool is so broken in challenge mode with bots. Well, anyway, I have batteries now. Give me the stuff. Well, what am I going to per- Oh, shoot. I guess I'm just going to go with a spot gun then. What's that noise? Spot gun! Alright, let's go. Oh, it's the bots. That's what that noise is. Silly bots. <laughs> oh, 
What are they breaking? Oh no, are they breaking the buttons? Uh oh. <laughs> That's not good. That's not geared. It's not geared. No, cannot. If I can get the boss to break these. Oh. Oh ho. -ho. Is this breakable? By bots? Maybe. Maybe it's just cheesable. Nah. Nah, I don't know what happened. How is Physics 1 more stable than Advanced? I don't know. Alright, well, let's just go <laughs> actually play the challenge. You know what? These are boss of a different color. Oh, are they still stuck? How are they stuck? I was gonna, maybe I could just make them fight each other, you know? Oh god, hello. <laughs> well, that answers my question. This metal is not breakable uh, by the bots. All right, well, maybe I can just deal with these bots then. <laughs> oh my god. Man, only 16 spuds too? Shoot. I gotta stock up on spot. They, they literally broke the way out. Oh god. I'm gonna see if I can do this. Alright. Oh god, I'm stuck! I forgot the other ah I forgot the other door closed. I just oh my god no 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 I just need I just need a couple of batteries Ah And I don't have any of my items But I can go get them right What's this? Oh for you know when I'm supposed to be bad at this game Wait then how come this is closed? I can't I can't go back? What am I supposed to do? All that work that I did. Now I gotta reset? <laughs> All that work. Hmm. Yeah, how, how the heck is this supposed to be like a second chance if there's no battery and the door just closes? I can build here? No, I cannot. Weird. Weird. Alright, I guess I gotta reset. <laughs> this time. This time, let's just go for it. And by go for it, I mean I'm, I'm gonna stock up on more batteries before even making an attempt. I'm gonna be serious face about it. I don't need the spuds. Wait, 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 is there anything? A duck. <laughs> Gotta check for those secrets, you know? Um, so yeah. Hammer to start. I don't know what the fuel is for. Maybe it's something in there, I don't know. Oh, I really want to try cheesing, you know? What else is around here? Nothing really that I can use. I mean, I can smash this stuff, but... Alright, alright. Let's go on in. To this, this one. And then I'm just gonna press this like a, a, a few times. It's the same bots every time, right? I think. Oh, hi.
button. Give me the button. There we go, there we go. So far, so good. Perfect. No health lost. Give me another battery. Fight more bots. So, just a little bit of a grind. But then I think with the... Ah! Spud shotgun is what I'm going for. And I'm going to stock up on some spuds. I am curious, actually. I might be able to... Uh, uh, there's another cheese I, I gotta try. Oh, God. Oh, now the button changes. Oh. It's gonna be different. Uh-oh. Better not be... Oh, my God. It better not be tape bots. Oh, God. Okay. Yeah, there's a couple of blue right there. Oh. It's probably just gonna be more hay bots, though. How many batteries do I have? I can get... Some potatoes. You know what I should have done? Let's just... We're, we're gonna check. Oops. We're just gonna check real quick. This is already a, a very cool challenge. I love it. Pretend like we failed. Oh, no. It only triggers. And I can't, like, sneak a peek through these suspensions. Shoot. I see, I see it up there. I don't know, maybe something just uh, broke last time because I was fiddling with the physics sliders too much. And like that's why the door was shut last time. I don't know. All right, so we got uh, four. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go straight for the shotgun. And then uh, one of these. It gives me two anyway. Oh. Oh, but that's a one-time thing, isn't it? Okay, well, if it wasn't a one-time thing, I probably broke it. Alright, well, now I can just go back in here and stock up some more. Although I have enough spuds, I think I can take it, take on the danger zone, but I gotta give it a try. It's pretty cool. Especially how they incremented this. Okay, let's try the other cheese. No, you can't cheese this. I just realized that's what all the timers are for. I just I thought you could just like mash the button, maybe get like three batteries out of it. What, just four tote bots? There's the there's the big boy. Batteries. Nope, more bots. Oh my god! Does it give me more batteries because it's a more difficult stage, or... Or is it because I... No, I definitely mashed the button more than twice. And I also used up an entire potato stack, so that's... Not smart of me. Hmm. Maybe, uh, maybe I'll just spend all this on potatoes. And then go on in. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think the Gatling gun's all that great, to be honest. Only when you have a regular spud gun, though. So, hmm, I might, uh, I, might, I might want that regular spud gun to snipe some. But I need potatoes. If there's tape bots in there, we'll just take all this. Yoink, yoinkity, yoink, yoink. All right, we're we're going in. 
Oh, you know what these are? These are allies, I think. Bing. I don't know what the button is. Oh, hi. Okay, so I can just do all this. Oh, God, hi. I hope the tape... If I release the tape on it, it better not go for me. Oh, it's totally going to go for me, isn't it? Shoot. All right, well, if I get this guy out, he'll fight for me. All right. Good old, good old shotgun. Ah! Oh, he's there for me. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> they just keep coming. Is this supposed to be like this? Oh, my God. They just keep spawning. I'm really surprised they didn't get hit there. Dude, this shotgun is just OP. But I am terrified of the tape pods. Oh my god, there's so many. <laughs> I am... Oh, 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 oh. I'm drained of spuds. Is that it? Are we done? Oh god, no! Wow, how do I stop? Oh my god! <laughs> I think this is supposed to be a final stage. Ah! No! Save me, white tote bot. Save me. Shave me. Oh my god. Oh my god. Can I even fight this guy? I am... I'm, I, I have to use up spuds for this. Okay, okay. I'm out of spuds. I'm out of spuds. I'm out of spuds. Get me out of here. Get me out of here. Oh my god, no! No! Tape bot, save me. Don't shoot me. Save me. Ah, I think he just shot me. <laughs> and now they're just talking about it in the corner. What a stupid mechanic, huh? <laughs> All right. So is the door open? Am I allowed to, to go back? Dude, how did that guy... Never mind. Like, before... <laughs> before there are any bots. What a failure, huh? What a failure in life. Alright, well, I think... Uh, yeah, that, that, was, that was a good respawn. Can I just go back in? Is he gonna start again? Oh, I can't go back in, can I? And there's a big bot waiting for me. No! Well, it's not going to do a second round, is it? I'm going back. Ow! All right, all right. <laughs> Pretty good. There we go. Okay, now what? Now I can push the button? Oh my god, they destroyed everything here. Okay, good, 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 good. Oh, I just gotta hold it? If I could have done that the entire time... Oh... Yeah, so you don't actually have to fight any of the bots. You can just, uh... I mean, if you, if you can avoid them. Alright, well, it looks like that's it. Really fun challenge, I love it. Based on another very fun game. Is that it? Is that it? What's this? The fuel! The fuel! You need the fuel! Where's the fuel? No! Is it gone? Is it just gone? You can't pick up your old stuff? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. 
Maybe you don't need the fuel. I mean... Yeah. I, what was the fuel for? What? <laughs> what? That was a great challenge. I like that one. Okay, next one. Very similar. Very similar challenge. I gotta go get it. Robots Arena. Hello, tribe you. Nupsik. Robots Arena. V0. Okay. Okay. Title I can't read. What is that? What is that, uh... Is that exclamation point? Is this just somebody abusing all the things in the, the, the new version of the challenge builder? Like, whoa, fancy particles and... Seems like it. <laughs> seems like it. That's pretty cool, though. They even got fog? This is... part of the vanilla game now? What? Oh, oh, apparently water isn't, though. Wait, what? How did I... F <laughs> what? Alright. Well, it's finally nice to see the game uh, uh, finally add fireflies. Remember when the... What is that? Just a rib cage? Floating rib... Why? Why? Why is this here? Well, anyway, it, it just, uh, uh, like, back in the super early days of Scrap Mechanic, there used to be floating dust particles around that looked exactly like this. They didn't move around like this or anything like that, but for the, uh, for the very first versions of the Night Mod, I just, uh, made those dust particles glow. And that was pretty much Fireflies. So I'm, I'm, I'm really happy to see the game finally have what looks to be vanilla support for fireflies in certain areas. I think the game already had that, like, in survival mode, but, like, I didn't really see it or notice it, especially since I avoid the nighttime in, uh, in survival mode. Just because it's too dark to really see anything. So what, what am I even doing in this challenge? I did not... <laughs> Is this a spud gun? But it's not. There's potatoes here. Can I... I can't pick them up. Just death. Just death everywhere. Let's go. Okay. Ding dong. Right, this is a robot arena. I completely spaced out. What is this? Why is this? What the heck? What the heck? So, another shop. Well, what's my currency? I can wait. I can buy a walk? What is this? Blocks? I'm so confused. Or all these things cost that much. What am I doing? <laughs> what? Can I just press something? I don't know how much money I have. Utility? Dude, these particles are gonna get annoying. Oh my gosh. I don't know what this is. Uh, I see something. I don't know what it is. I thought it was a chest. Oh, here's a chest. There's a battery and a spud gun and a hammer. What am I doing? What am I doing? <laughs> Alright, so now I go here. Put the battery in. And that means... That means what? That means what?
take your water. I'm busting in. What am I doing? <laughs> I mean, there's more to the game, the, the stage. I should probably just go look. But I'm busted in. What? What are... Pillows all over your head? Seriously, though, what? He's even got little feetsies. Why would they put this much detail into the shopkeeper? Okay, maybe... Maybe I gotta climb up? I'm... What am I doing? Yes! <laughs> uh, oh, there... Yeah, I could probably climb up back there. Don't destroy everything. Nah, nothing up there. Shoot. Alright, well, um... Walk. Wait, that those lights aren't on anymore. These lights aren't on anymore. What? What did I break? Ah! Oh no, that was... What? <laughs> okay, I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Let's just go in here. Whatever this bot arena is. What the heck was that? Also, my cat. One sec. It's great when several cats all decide to, to use the door at separate times. Very, very convenient. So, like, what is this? So, I think something's wrong. I don't have any weapons now. Okay. What the heck is that? Okay. What are these? Wait, what are those? They look like spawn points, are they? But they're not. Are they? I'm confused. F? Oh. What is that? <laughs> oh, they're you they're using some jank. Some real jank. What the heck? How do they build that? Oh. Interesting. Okay, so then can I I can't swim. Why can't I swim? I'm I'm confused. So, where did I get my hammer? Where did I... Blah, 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 blah. Okay, I think I just gotta reset. Alright, we'll just take this seriously. Get in my boat, go over there. Actually, now that I'm... Now that I'm here doing this... Where's the boat? Come on, boat. Help me cheese. Okay, that is not helping. That kind of is. is this boat? I think this boat has a stabilizer. Yeah, so I was sort of on the right track. If I can get the boat to just to like point upwards. I think, uh, I think that's, I think that's it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. No, 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 that's not, that's not, that's not what I wanted. Wait, what? Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, what?
Hmm. What to do now? Interesting. What is that? Is that a car? No, no seat tricks this time. Let's see if I can push my luck a little bit. Because that like sliver of a corner is just underwater. Is that the reason why I'm floating right now? I don't know. I'm scared to push my luck even further. But I'm going to. Not yet, it was just because of that. The tiny little sliver was keeping me afloat. Crazy. Alright, alright, I think I found some cheese. Oh. Get back in there. <laughs> No, stop spinning. Oh my gosh, you spin. Fine, fine, whatever. I don't think there's anything on that side anyway. I want to check to make sure though. Oh! See, now that is a way up. That could be a way up. Maybe. If I can parkour or something. I just need the corner of my boat. No, 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 no. I need the front of my boat under. Or the back. Oh! Oh! Almost, almost had it. Wait, that's also water over there, too. Why doesn't the boat float in that water? I didn't float in that water, either. Alright, alright. I think I figured out some kind of strategy. You just do this. Fling it out here. There you go. Now you're... Okay, that's, that, that's just, like, the strategy to get lower in the water so I can go under this wall. There you go, there you go. And I'm immediately <laughs> back where I don't want to be. You know what? This could also work too, maybe. Ah, shoot! This is so dumb. <laughs> oh. There's no way. There's no way. <sighs> can, I, can I get this stabilizer out of here or something? I'm sorry. I'm just like super focused on cheese. It's something that I that, that I do to every challenge. It must be done. Okay, okay, okay. There you go. There you go. There you go. Boost out. Boost back in. Boost back in. Float, float, float. Yes. Yes. This is so dumb. All right. Can I make that jump? Uh, ba barely, barely. I think I really need to push my luck here some more. We're getting, we're getting, we're getting <laughs> really dangerous. Okay. We'll just, uh, oh my God, where, where's the farthest point I can jump from? Right here? 
These silly pipes. Okay, I'll try. I'll try. Yeah. Oh my god, not even close. <laughs> not even close. But now that I've parked the thing over there... Wait, is that the boat? I thought I parked it further up. Or is this just another one? Why would there be a second one? Yeah, this is not the same boat. Is that supposed to be a sunken boat? Also, yeah, the challenge never started, did it? Well then. I should probably... There's probably more cheese opportunity. Oh my god, can I just get up? Probably some better cheese opportunity. Also, hey, Rado. Okay, so challenge started. Boat is still parked back here. Can I even get on it? I might have uh, incapacitated my boat. What is that? No, my boat! Oh, I could have saved it. Wait, this is now the player spawn point? So all I had to do, there's also tons of batteries in here. So all I had to do, so this is where you get everything. What? Okay. Well, I did, I found the cheese. You just gotta start the challenge and then die? Well, I, I, I got stuck. Thanks, Scrap Mechanic Physics, for this. Thanks. I don't think there's a way to recover this. Unless I maybe fall back down here. Nope. <laughs> yeah, this is just the spawn point now. What? Oh! Alright, so let's test this the- Oh my god, can I stop falling? <laughs> I, I, okay, parkour is also another challenge that I like, but like, come on. There we go. So now I can just grab all these. Right, if I still, in, you know, had any intention to do the challenge normally. I just robbed the place. Now what are these? Nothing but spuds. So I'm ready to fight any number of bots. And I could... Yeah, that up there looks like a vehicle. How do I get to it? Probably this wall. Oops. <laughs> uh, no, the batteries are gone. No! <laughs> Alright, well, let's test this theory out. Let's test this theory out. We just gotta start the challenge and then jump off. Not like this. Just like this. Uh, is there a spawn point in the boat? Not that I know of. I don't know. Well, let's just get out of here. Weird. Yeah, so they're using some uh, disconnected, like, jank stuff to move the spawn points. Right in here. Switch. I saw the switch and I clicked it. I don't know what it did, but I clicked it. Oh, oh, now I'm just being shoved, um, okay, that means, oh, that's, uh, that's the room, that's the room, I see. Okay, so then how did it break last time? How did it break? It, it, it ran into the, the boat, I think, last time, that's what happened. I understand, I am the understanding. All right. And these things down here are also, like, glitched, connected remotely somewhere. So I don't know what that switch is down there that I clicked. And I can't find out now. Alright. So there is some cheese that is pretty easy to do. The best cheese is a little finicky, though. Well, let's try it. So start the challenge. I don't think I'm even gonna... 
yeah, there's nothing I'm going to be doing with that, so... We'll just jump off. There's the spawn point. Oh, no, 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 I just need to lose my momentum. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Okay, uh-oh. Uh-oh. You know what? That works, too. That works, too. Right here is good. It's going to try to crush me. Yeah, okay. No! <laughs> How do I do it? Oh, that's uh, that's it for you for today, Lucy Digger. What? My boat! Ah, my boat! No, oh, the boat! Well, thanks for stopping by, and uh, you wanted to mention that you have 5,000 plus hours on Scrap Mechanic? Dude, what? 5,000? I mean, at some point, you, you must question yourself. Okay. <laughs> uh, I guess I'm... Well... Oh, no! Oh, good, 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 good. I'm on it, I'm on it. I'm on it. I'm on it. We're good. Gotta... Wait for the water. No! Why did it just go down all of a sudden? It dipped down and took my jump. I don't know what the switch does. Oh, hey, but now I'm just floating. That's actually kind of kind of handy. Kind of handy for me. Now I can float around this way. Why? I don't know. This is not swimming in water or anything. This is just uh, glitched in the floor. Hey, there's a, there's a chest over there. Why am I doing this? <laughs> uh... So if I, like, reach the edge, I'll, I'll pop out, probably. I don't know about this wood, though. Oh, okay. Okay. Ah, shoot. Alright, well, let's just give the challenge a try. Why not? Was I supposed to hold that? Oops. I fell down. And I lost everything. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's that's fantastic. Okay, I want to go get back to where I was. Uh, I'm not gonna do it like this. I I just kind of screwed myself here. Just just float on the surface. Oh my god, just float on the surface. There we go. I can't push it. Shoot. Okay. Yeah, I just want to try the full cheese again. I mean, there's different kinds of cheese that I tried already today for, for this challenge alone. Oh, that was bad. That was a bad attempt. But I want to get that reliable cheese. Just rob the place of all of its batteries and then start the challenge, you know? I also want to see what the heck is... Oh, oh, there we go, there we go. That's good, that's good. Alright, I'm not really attached to anything, so I'm just going to be... This is probably going to... Yeah, it's, all, it's only going to boost me out of here. Uh, shoot. Now, I want to do exactly that, but, like, closer to the corner. And this... Yeah, it's the, I did the exact same thing. Great. <laughs> I just want to drive in the corner more. I am getting the hang of it, though. Oh, okay. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. Hang of it. Lost it. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, turn. Around the corner. It's okay that you're crooked. As long as one sliver of a corner of the boat, there we go, is in there. Oh! Oh! 
that is close. That is close. I gotta, I gotta be quick here. Because it's probably gonna settle down and do something else dumb. Oh! <laughs> Whatever, the boat's parked there now, we're good. <laughs> oh no, wait, we're not good. How do I get back in the boat? <laughs> I had this problem last time. Can you upwards angle get you up on the roof? Yeah, yeah, the thrusters on the boat should be able to fly the boat too. That's something else that I tried doing, but I think there's like some kind of stabilizer on the boat. So it has like some resistance to doing that. Um, but back here, you, you don't even need to worry about that if... I think I can get it. Yeah, there you go. There's these ramps right up here. You can get on top of anything just like this, assuming you have the parkour skills. So that's all that I need is just... <laughs> oh, <laughs> two out of two times, I just run right off the edge. Start the challenge? Well, if I start the challenge, I, I mean, yeah, I guess the spawn point that loops around might hit the boat again and, and be useful. But I want to try it like this first. Because the spawn point's also going to kick my boat out of there. So, like, I want to I wanna explore everything that the boat can do for me first before getting rid of the boat opportunity, you know what I mean? So this is... Oh, okay, this... You know what, maybe... Uh, I think I have to run along. Um... Yeah, there's no... This is, this is the best jumping spot, I think, so I just have to run. I think, actually, probably the best bet is to... Not... You fail before you even try. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I just want to have like one more good, you know, jump attempt in. It's <laughs> so far three out of three. <laughs> I haven't even gotten to that point. Oh, and I also downloaded some other parkour challenges too. Not the thing that I was ready to do today, apparently. All right. Those pipes. These peepes. That, you can't really like run along them. How do you jump? Okay, I gotta run up the sides of the pipes and jump. Oh, I did it! 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 See how easy that was? <laughs> so now I can just rob the place blind of all these uh, resources. Um, I gotta jump on this first, so there we go. Jump on this, there we go. And here we go. Now the problem is if I fall down, all of this is gone. Which I literally almost did just by running off that. But look at all these. Rob the place completely blind. Then I could also just go back and start the challenge. Free, you know, free resources for everything. Um, but I'm curious about this area. I'm curious about all these things. And I am the cat that will get killed. Oh! Literally almost did. There we go. All right, that's it. I'm full. I'm maxed out. And there's still crazy amounts of spuds. Nothing, uh, nothing to really jump to up there. There's like a vehicle up there. But I think, I think if I can just maybe from from, from around here. Oh god! Just jump. Gotta do some more parkour. When a robot uh, arena becomes a parkour challenge, I know, right? Every challenge is a parkour challenge if you're cheesing it I think to some degree how far can I you know what maybe the wall maybe the walls maybe the walls that seems like the best place to get to that vehicle whatever it is it's 
That's uh, kind of a risky jump, though. I'm going to lose everything if I... I mean, I should be able to make that. I should be able to make that. First person or third person. I just, oh, no. Should be able to make that. Oh. Almost overshot it. Don't risk it, you see? <laughs> uh, that's funny. <laughs> Alright, so then what's this? And all of this. This is just like random glitch stuff that's like connected to other stuff. That's weird how, you know, challenge mode even lets you do that. Look at these switches. Pretty cool looking switch. Changes the all wheel drive or something. I don't know. What is the purpose? Okay, so we have a little bit of a conundrum issue here. I'm I'm curious. Oh gosh, I'm curious to. Uh, oh, I can just fall down here too. That's pretty safe, I think. The door is not closed. I don't know. Maybe it is. That would be bad. But uh, I'm curious to like look around to see if there's just like a an ending switch somewhere that I can just find. Do I fall down? Because that seems like a safe way to get in there again. Unless a door is closed, and then it's a dumb way to do it. But I don't want to lose all the stuff that I picked up. So another way to get back and start the challenge would be to hop into the boat and try to drive that back in. Which is also kind of just as risky, I think. I don't know. Ending switch won't work, will it? Right, 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 I gotta start the challenge. And that's by opening the door. I think. So the button's on the outside. So I have to try the boat method. Jump on top of the other wall. Yeah, I think that's probably the way to do that. Uh, that's probably the safest. I think, yeah, you're, you're probably smart with that one. So then, well, so since we're gonna be doing that anyway. Actually, whoa, 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 whoa there. Pay attention to where you're walking. Jeez. I could just do it from here. I think. And it's okay if I fall on top of that surface too, so... This is a very safe jump. Nothing over here. And he- oh! Big red button! I don't know what it does! I don't know what it does. You know, I this is also so we have a couple options here because we can start the challenge. What is that? Oh, that's just a wet floor sign. We can start the challenge and then like come back up here and try to mess around with this logic, or start the challenge with all the stolen resources. What is this vehicle? Ha! Oh, there's more buttons too. There's more switches. Why? Why? <laughs> Why? It doesn't give me any answers. Alright, we'll just go down to the... Yeah, we'll just go open the door, start the challenge. Because I'm pretty sure this door needs to be open. So challenge has started, I could have fallen down, but I could not have started the challenge, because I couldn't reach the bottom. So it was a good decision to go that way. I don't, I mean... You want batteries? How do I buy things anyway in here? Oh, right here. Duh. <laughs> All the, you know, the big flashing exclamation point that I completely ignored because they started to get annoying. So now that I put that there, how do I make a purchase? And like, these things don't tell me what they are, right? I also didn't get my... my stuff. And I also have another battery.
Oh, it's going in. Okay. So it's finally going in. Where, where... Oh, you just... Okay. They're up here. I can spend that many points? Okay. So then, uh, why would I get a walk? Where's my walk? Bruh, you just robbed me. Where's my walk? It better, it better be in there. Blocks too? Maybe the blocks would be helpful. I'm guessing this is a shotgun. We're going for that. And it gives me extra potatoes too that I really can't hold on to. So we're storing it. That's a full chest of potatoes. Alright. And then more potatoes. But I already stole from all these potatoes, I think. I think. No, these are red chests. What? So then what was... What were all those white chests that I stole from? Like automated turrets or something? I have no idea. What am I doing? <laughs> yes. uh, what else could I purchase? Explosives? I have lots of points. I'm pretty happy with what I have. I'll just go like explosive. Explosives, walk, and blocks. I can't wait. What? I can't afford it? Yeah, I can. There you go. All right. All right, well, whatever this means, I guess. Let's, uh... Oh, I can't... Okay. I... I don't know what this floor is that, like, uh, goes out from under you. You don't... You don't need to press the button in there, right? You just go in here and press the button. What about this? What is this? Oh, you know what? These are the things that I purchased. Red button was the, the walk. So this is just a sacrificial walk then. Okay, is it gonna spawn? The, <laughs> the use of effects is definitely gonna get annoying if they're excessive like this challenges. Let's just, uh, let's just start. I have plenty of spuds, I think. What's the what's the waves of this challenge like? Maybe I'll pack a few extra. <laughs> Derp. Is that it? Well, I'm liking this. Looks like they did a really nice job with the uh, with the with the Robo Robot Arena concept. I'm liking it. What is this though? Oh, there we go. Oh, okay. So it is something that I purchased. Ha! Get wrecked. Oh wait, I could get wrecked too. Oh, they're just all gone now? Fine. Okay. I'm understanding. Now I can go back. Yeah, okay. We'll just hop right into... Is that just automatic now? Or is that like the undo sequence? I want to accidentally fall in. Like this guy. Where's he going? I'm right here. Whoa, what's going on? <laughs> what's going on with that? So this is gonna give me a walk? It gives me a walk. Why? <laughs> Why do I have a walk? Oh, there's plenty of walk. 
Yeah, so, like, is it, is it supposed to just be, like, a sacrificial walk? Oh. I mean, I could get some corn, I guess. The bots don't seem to care about the walk. At all. So, like, how... Wh how... Why is it useful? How? What is this? Nothing. Alright, well... So, I, I mean, because I cheesed it, this seems a little bit too easy. I'm not supposed to have the shotgun by now. Can we hurry this up a little bit? What do I need to, to, to win? Just go through all the stages, right? So the ending logic would be up here somewhere. Is this seriously the... Come on, hurry up. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. What is this that I purchased? Oh, explosives! That's what I purchased. I forgot about that. So that means... Wait, do I get hurt from explosives? I must, right? This is a terrible idea to test. But I could have some more cheese. Oh! Oh wait, there's some logic down here. No switches or buttons or anything. All right. Well, I could uh, try. What what is going on right now? The stage is like supposed to be done, right? What bots am I fighting right now? That's the hole in the ground. This is some more walks. I can always get some more walk. Maybe you can also get some more explosives. No? Only one explosive. Okay. Well, I'm, uh, I'm at a loss. I think I'm stuck. Yeah, I don't know. I think it broke. No! Wait, yes. Okay, it does hurt me. It does hurt me, but not a lot. So that might be useful for this. Oh, that was, that was just awful. Okay, so I got... Wait. I got 19 batteries? How did I get 19 batteries? Dude, challenge mode is so broken. I also got way more... Sp I shouldn't have this many spuds. Challenge mode is so broken. What? <laughs> what? Well, maybe at least this way I'll, I'll be able to get back. Yeah, I was trying to do an explosive jump. Jeez, I don't know what the stream delay is on, on that comment. Co co comment? Comment. That comment. But yeah, d uh, technically I duplicated uh, ba batteries. Right? So even if you have one battery, that's another cheese. That's another cheese. You just get the starting battery right here. Bada bing, bada boom. You give it to the guy. Like this. Bada bing, bada boom. Or was it because I respawned that I got more batteries? I'm confused. Challenge mode doesn't do that, right? Are you are you registering that I paid you or what? I guess not. Oh wait. The button? There's a button? 
Since when is there a button? I'm I'm still very confused. What? <laughs> what? Well, okay, well we need a spud gun. I got so many spuds too. Yeah, see, like I sh I should not have this many spuds. Okay, okay, okay. So if I click that button, door closes. But the floor goes away too. I need this door to be not like that. See, the floor is gone. Weird, why does the floor go away? And how do I get to the next stage? Ah! <laughs> you, help me. Okay, thanks for the help. What is the vehicle for? Okay, well, I only have the, the one other explosive now to test, so... Uh, let's just hope I, I get this right this time. I don't... I didn't bring my hammer. That was the most idiotic... Oh. There you go, push it manually. Yes, I have more bombs, yes. <laughs> the, I'm spending way more time trying to cheese challenges than I'd ever would just playing them. Now what? <laughs> now that I'm here, now what? Just some logic. I see the finish thing. But it doesn't seem to be any sort of like button for testing or for the, the the creator to like skip their own challenge oh uh, uh. and look at that I got batteries and potatoes again infinite battery glitch I think you need to kill the walks oh my god are you serious all right, well, that's an instant uh, downvote on the, uh, I mean, upvote on the challenge. <laughs> I, I like, I, I like the little confetti explosion. Glitch lol. You know, it's not, it, it, it's not too crazy that we're experiencing some glitches here. I mean, I'm definitely asking for. Look at this. In, yeah, I can't even store more potatoes. I have too many potatoes. So the entire cheese that I did at the start was pointless. Just because challenge mode itself is very broken. Except for spud guns. Spud guns are limited. L li limited? Limited. They're limited. Okay, well, can you give me something else that I might want? A hammer? Okay, so it is using up the points, but I can't, uh, I can't, like, register my other points. How do? What is this, even? Why is this? Yeah, this is supposed to be all those extra spuds that I just cheesed earlier, but you don't need them. Why would they put them here? I don't know. I don't know. Alright, well, I guess we gotta go in and do some dirty deeds. Just run away. You don't have to run. You don't have to spread out. Just run all in the same corner.
Okay, well, that was dumb. Why are these things going off now? What? No! <laughs> it got me! Ah! Uh, you broke it because uh, needs the batteries as marker to start the next round? Oh, so all those batteries that I stole. Ah, uh, okay. That makes sense. Alright. So I think that was like a good half hour of just trying to cheese this challenge in all different ways and I ended up breaking it. So let's start again. Again, again. Because uh, challenge mode is just broken. We don't need any of those cheese. I mean, it was very fun. Good practice for other challenges. But this challenge in particular... What is this? Hold on. Why do I even have all this in my backpack? I just reset the challenge. Why is this here? <laughs> Challenge mode is so broken. So it is reset. Is it? Is it actually reset? I can't tell. If those, um... Yeah, look, all the batteries are still out there. Okay, so the, it, it reset, we're good to go. And I'm just rich. I'm a rich boy. Alright, so is that gonna register by itself or what? I have so many sp I can't even get rid of them all. Do I gotta push the button or what? Oh, there we go, there we go. Now it's doing the thing. Weird. Okay, so now... Give me this. Give me this. Oh, I gotta wait. Okay, that's good. Um, the explosives. Maybe some tote bots. Not not the not the holes in the ground. That's kind of a huge distraction. Waste of time. Alright. I've got more than what I need. Let's go. And do this quick, because uh, the levels take quite a while to spawn in stuff. Next. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give I hunger for robots. Holy moly, you take forever. <laughs> so yeah, just in case, uh, like, the, the cheese, the, the, the big old cheese this time or whatever, you just get a bunch of stuff in your inventory. Um, and then fall off with it. Fall off the edge with it. That's all you gotta do. And then it appears in your inventory all the time. Apparently, even if you reset. Not restart, but a reset. So you just have infinity of whatever you can duplicate in that way. All right, so the next round is ready to go. Yeah, I didn't even cut into my spuds. So let's just start the next round immediately. So then there's like uh, 20 or so of these rounds. From all of the batteries that I remember. Oh, so if I go back to my room, there's going to be a pile of batteries. I get it. I get how this is actually supposed to work. I've never seen... I've never actually seen that happen, because I've only ever cheated. Come on. My phone automatically cut off the stream and started another video. What a heck. My hand were nowhere near the phone. I think that's called an advertisement. But isn't the level display one digit? I guess it is. 
So there might be like uh, multiple waves per level. So you're, you're probably right about that. We did four waves. So like four out of 20 is two out of 10. I don't know. I just know that I saw like a lot of batteries out there when I... It was 19 batteries that I stole. That's why it respawns me with 19 every time. No, it was a completely different video. Like somebody else. Was... Oh, well, I mean, if it was li a link on the page, um, I know from personal experience, just having a really old, cracked phone screen, uh, I can get a little finicky sometimes. Like even if you have a little bit of dirt on there, it's like gonna register as a touch. I don't know, couldn't say. YouTube has also been like, um, really cracking down on like bot accounts and like bot views as far as I'm aware. Uh, Cause like whenever I look at my analytics, I'm losing a lot of subscribers, but from bot accounts, not from like people. What is this? Oh, that's j okay. That's part of a build arena. It just said, it, like, it says on, in the analytics, it says, like, closed accounts and stuff as, like, the primary source of why people are unsubscribing. I'm getting, actually, a lot of subscribers, too. I think uh, just this year, it was over a thousand? Over, uh, I, I, gotta, I gotta check again. I don't know if it was, like, up to 6,000 new subscribers just in 2022, I mean. Not this year. 2022. But, like, the, it balances out with, like, 6,000 new subscribers and then, like, 4,800 or so closed accounts. So, like, compared to last year, I only made peanuts for subscribers. Let's start the next wave. But it's fake. It's fake. That's actually something that I thought about, too, is how many, uh, how many YouTube channels aren't actually as popular as they seem. And I've also heard someone say, you know, <laughs> for, for whatever that's worth, right? I heard a person say on the internet, so like, um, you know, I heard it from a friend who heard it from a friend who heard it from a friend. That basically all the top channels bought views and subs. Uh, and it's not so much as something that, uh, like, you can't call them fake, because they're not. But, like, it, the way that it was described was, like, a mechanism of how larger YouTube channels even have to compete with each other on the platform. So if there's two identical channels that are both equally popular, and, like, they reach a million subs or whatever, and then one of them just decides to, you know, take some of that extra money and just stick it into fake uh, views and subscribers it's going to at least give the appearance that one of them is more popular than the other even if they were totally identical so as a result of that sort of economy um, it's sort of like all the channels at the top are more or less forced to do that that's that's how it was that's how the concept was presented to me that, from what I remember, anyway. Right? Whereas, like, a small channel like mine, I can't afford to do that. <laughs> I mean, maybe... Maybe... Would it even help? I don't know. I'm not sure if it would. Alright, level 5. Seems to be just the same every time. The same boss, nothing too difficult. How many spuds do I have? Still a lot.
All right, well. Oh yeah, what was I? Well, I, I was trying to suggest that like uh, maybe YouTube is automatically trying to switch you over to another video. I don't know why YouTube would be doing that. It's a little weird. I don't think that uh, YouTube would actually force you to, or like forcibly switch you from one video to another. And like the implications that that brings, that you know, YouTube's trying to control what you're watching. I don't think that that's, that's gonna be, I mean, there's definitely other ways to try to control what, what you're watching just by like not listing certain stuff for you to watch and listing other stuff for you to watch. They don't have to literally switch the video on you. So I don't think it's that. Crush. I should get crushed by this. I gotta stand here next time. <laughs> Why? No reason. Yeah, the shotgun's just OP no matter what bot arena you gotta deal with. Except for tape bots. I mean, I'll still spray and pray, but, um,. The range of a regular spud gun and the precision of a regular spud gun. Definitely, definitely is the way to deal with that. Ah, shit, rip. Okay, so they're coming out faster. That's good. Not quite as boring. Hey, we got plenty of bots. Nice. I mean, I just because of the weapons that I have and the amount of ammo that I have, I would have preferred this entire wave just come out all at once. But it's good that the way that they designed it for like gradual progression, it's it's good. It's a good challenge. I played nothing but good challenges today. What? Since when does that happen? Except for the first one, I think. Oh, yeah, 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 crush me. <laughs> almost, almost got crushed. That is in no way indication that I am a bottom. It is just a experiment in scrap mechanic. However, if you were to offer me death by Snoo Snoo, I would not deny. I mean, who can refuse? Is the bitrate kind of small, or is it just me? Um, it's probably it's probably the arena. The texture pattern probably doesn't do very well moving across the screen like this. A lot of fine detail. So, <laughs> yeah, and there's a lot of like individual robot parts flying around. The bitrate's definitely dying. But if I'm standing still, just looking at this like sort of pattern, it should look fine. 1080p, 60fps. But then like just walking around, it's gonna be much blurrier or more pixelated than before. Interestingly enough, especially if I line up the, the squares like this, it'll probably do it even more. Anyway, let's, uh, let's end these. So is that it? Don't tell me you broke. Oh, okay, no, you didn't break. Crush me. Oh, close. What's the blue? I completely forget the blue. This is explosives. Oh, I guess I can't do it now. All right, wait, what? Is that supposed to be 30? I don't think this person checked their seven segment display. <laughs> I think they built the logic the other way around from the other side. All right, so we do have explosives that uh, apparently I can just spawn in only during a wave, but multiple times though. 
What was this though? I forget what this was. Oh, that was a uh, friendly boss. Oh, that well that helps. And it's on a huge timer. Okay, that makes sense. Bombs. Wow. Get wrecked, bots. Okay, that was just cheating. You guys, this is not dodgeball. You're supposed to blow up. There you go. Well, that's nice and fun. Yeah, so... Whatever, I didn't need that bomb anyway. Still can't ask for more friendlies. There's so many ways that you can play this. I actually really like this challenge. You can do just bombs if you wanted to. Put all your batteries into just bombs. Oh! Uh-oh. Oh, look at that. Yeah, I have <laughs> this. Wait, what? So this chest... Huh? I have more batteries, though. Infinite batteries? Yes, please. What? Only one of them loaded in? No, there's a hard limit for how many points you can get. Okay. Okay, so they, they didn't... Okay, you, you can't cheese infinite points and spuds. Which is a shame. But we don't need it. Yeah, so you could, uh, just at the very start, spend five battery points? How do you get five batteries? All of these batteries. <laughs> that I don't need either. I heard a spud gun. Come on, come on. I see you. Well, anyway. Let's, uh, just, just go back in. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, so, uh, level 8, right? I'm assuming level 9 is gonna be the last one. This is also very interesting. How did they do this? Because the, the room didn't fill up with bots. It waited for me to kill enough bots before... Seriously, what is that number? Okay, they did 120... 1 and 2 are good. I don't know if, uh... Nine and three are backwards. I'm definitely killing more than 122. Crush me. Oh! <laughs> it's a little bit forward next time. All right, well. I saw F. Yeah, yeah, I saw F too. Right, like it, you, you think it maybe it's like a hexadecimal display, right? One twenty nine, one twenty, one two A. What? C E. You're right. It's in hexadecimal, but like why? It's clearly three digits meant to, to just count. The players aren't gonna convert hexadecimal in their brain. And there's also no point in doing so for this challenge. It's not like a puzzle to solve or, or like a escape room solution. Oh no! I'm such a dingus! Wait, 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 I got infinite stuff again. Oh, okay, so it's not in this chest. Dude, I can't even carry this many spuds, man. <laughs> can't even carry that many spuds. Can't keep losing the, the guns, though. All 
Alright, friendly bots, come help out. While I get the explosives ready. Okay, that was just awful. Awful explosive. There we go, that was great. Alright. You know, I'm just gonna stand in the middle. Let him come at me. Oh god, god, I shouldn't do that. I just realized my health. What happened? <laughs> oh god, that's what happened. Ah! Spuds and batteries. I'm gonna. I, I gonna run out of space. <laughs> Challenge mode is so broken. Um. Wait. 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 Let's go back here. Do I have six points? I do not want this. I have lots of. Uh, I have lots of spuds. We might as well make use of this. Might as well make use of it. There you go. And just never let go. Are we done? Are we done? Now we're done. Oh! <laughs> it's, I'm gonna get it to crush me someday. Alright, so now we just uh, hold down this button. I can't imagine I will run out of spuds. It seems like a very inefficient use of all the, the ammo, but... I am surviving. If I, if I start to see the stacks in my hotbar start to decrease, uh, I'm just going to switch over. But they, well, actually, you know what? I should just do the... I'm, I'm so indecisive. I'm just going to use the sh shotgun. <laughs> Until I see a tote bot. Tape bot. Tape bot, I mean. Not a tote bot. Where are the, uh... Oh, I just realized. I think this was affected by an explosive. I can destroy the bot spawners. More cheese? Um, also the level, the level, the level says A. Oh my god, I can't get rid of it. Oh yeah, and a hammer. There we go. Oh, I can't run while shooting the Gatling gun. I don't think I can really do that with the shotgun either, but it's a quicker turnaround. Ah! Oh my god. Eh. Ah, oh, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> Where are those spawn points? It's just the ones right in the front and center, right? Ah, it's so close to the other logic, though. I don't want to risk blowing something else up. That I, you know, definitely don't want blowing up. Infinite potatoes. Why challenge mode is so broken? Why?
Wait, there's limited lives too? 11 left? 10 lives left? Really? Oh my god, this is so dumb. Okay, so that, that thing, if I can, uh, there's not, not really any, bleh. You know what? I'm curious. Duck, take me. Oh, <laughs> all right, all right, more cheese potential, more cheese potential. That's always good. Yeah, there you go. Get him. Get him, team. That's also on my... Okay. Okay. What a useless bot. Just fell right down. Oh! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Alright. Well, Derek Wood, you want to make a vanilla hex to decimal converter in challenge mode? You can just make a simple counter. You don't have it doesn't have to be hex decimal fancy anything. Bunch of toad bots. All right. Yeah, I really gotta watch for those tape bots. Whenever they randomly decide to show up, I'm gonna get another teammate. Don't fall immediately down. He fell immediately down the hole. Cool. Thanks, teammate. Cool. Thanks for that. And the teammate. Immediately down the hole. Cool. Thanks. Thanks for that, teammate. Maybe another set of teammates is what I need. Yeah, get him. Get him. Poke him in the butt. Okay, you know what? I am a little bit curious. Oh my god. I need to take a look. Ah! <laughs> I want more explosives. Because I want to take a look and see up here. But I guess I gotta do that after the, the round is over. No, tape bots are still gonna spawn sometime. Okay, there we go, that's good for me. Until the tape bots, ah! Oh my god, he still got me. Is that it? Round over? Yeah, that's it. Okay. So I want to check back here. There's some logic that has to do with the buttons, the boutons. And there's some logic, that logic gate up there seems pretty important. So I'll probably try to sacrifice the button a little bit right here. If I can just like hit an explosive up here. Destroy the, um, the tape bot. We're not in level six. It's supposed to be a B, not six. All right, well, let's try some more cheese. And I failed. Get, uh, get those teammates out. I want distractions. 
while I'm working. No, 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 no. Oh my god. I gotta be so careful not to accidentally shoot it. Why don't these guys accidentally fall into the water? All of my tape bot teammates did. They can't uh, do me this one favor? Yeah, seriously? Okay, they actually did. They did. Nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> That's awesome. That was actually much more useful than I thought. Like more than an actual tape on would be. This way, filler. Okay, okay, I gotta. Oh my god. Tape bots didn't show up. Kinda really surprised about that. All right, well, let's try to give it a try. Can I flip it back over without setting it off, please? 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 Oh my god, please? I just need it uh, upright. Without setting it off. Without... Oh! Now, careful. Careful. I'm having a lot of fun with this challenge. <laughs> in case you couldn't tell by the timer at the top. All right, let's see if I can cheese this. I want to keep the blue button intact. Oh, it uh, it came back down anyway. I thought I had to wait for the explosive. All right, I'm trying my best. Okay, it sort of worked. I don't think the buttons are gonna work anymore. Maybe I just accidentally killed the, 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 the light bulb inside, or maybe I killed the logic behind it. Only one way to find out. Okay, so I got bombs still. Oh, oh, and I still got it. Okay, the buttons still work, nice. So that just means then tape bots are never going to spawn again. Very good source of cheese for me. Oh! Barely made that. And the logic is still intact too. Nice. Nice. That was some good cheese. Oh yes, come here. Come here, folks. This is probably the best cheese right here. You need to find a good corner where they just fall easily. Wow! <laughs> Alright. <laughs> I have no idea what it is about... Uh... I just love doing this in challenges. I, I, it's not that I don't want to play it the intended way. It's just exploits. Like, evolutionarily speaking, if this was like a... Um... If this was like a tournament, like everyone was doing this one challenge to see who got the best score or whatever. Strategies like this one is just going to be the ones at the top, because zero effort, all win. Perfect time for me to take a sip of drink. These guys need to hurry up, though. Hurry up and kill yourselves faster, please. Alright, that was it. Now we're on level D. Uh, assuming that it is hexadecimal, so then level F is going to be the last, the last one. Yeah, it looks like it. 
you can see right there, we're on the second to the last one, I think. Third to last? Second to last? I don't know. Also, it seems like these sensors are what track your, your deaths, I think, your lives. Nothing else that I can really fiddle around with. Oh, you know what? Well, I, I can't spawn more explosives early. All right, well, let's, uh... What the heck is that? 2DA? All right, well, I, I gotta... If I can get up there, that'd be a pretty... Pretty swank... Shiggity shiggity schwa spot. Shiggity shiggity schwa. Where was the thing? The float. Oh, the floating thing itself also moves. Shoot, I was hoping that was stationary so I could stand on it. Alright. Wait, how did I... I didn't push that button, did I? Interesting. Is there a way to bypass some of this button logic? Is there like a sensor back there somewhere? Or something? <laughs> they better not destroy that logic down there. It better not be important anyway. I just gotta move this way. Wait, so the sensors are seeing the Oh, that's how- okay, that's how it knows the round is over or not. I see. I see, that's why the- Oh, no! How did that explode? The explosion didn't push me off. It was a bot, right? What the heck? 2DA is 7.30? Really? I'm already in the 700s? Dude, I'm- I'm- I'm jamming the system. <laughs> they- they don't come out. That's funny. Oh, what? That was it? <laughs> I- I saw one more in there. Wait a second. No. Oh my god, I only have uh, a few spuds left. I mean, guns. And the shotguns are my favorite. Well, I have more points, I guess. Might as well unlock the other one. <laughs> ah, the bots are pushed to the side. I want the door to open, like, inwards. Hoping that they, yeah, we just run on in. Also, oh, that's why the floor does that. To prevent bots from coming to this side. I should have realized that. I'm kind of a dingus. Alright, I'm not dealing with uh, how long that's taken. Yeah, that spawned more teammates. How did it do that? I see the time, like I see that thing trigger. But all I did was just jump on an explosive and shoot it. How the heck? I don't know. 
I just want to see the end of this. I got seven lives remaining. I, yeah, I just want to see the end of this. Let's go. E and F should just be the... This should be the second last one, right? I'm really happy that I took out the spawner <laughs> for the tape pods. I'm kind of proud of that one. I don't know what it is about cheese. Oh, hello. Oh my goodness, hi. Dude, there's three of them. I'm stuck, I'm stuck. No, I fell. Worst. Okay, I, I probably just should have jumped in and fought them instead of uh, instead of trying to avoid it. I mean, it's not a problem with the amount of spuds that I have. I just don't want to. And I think I this is like getting to be the last stage. So, oh, shotgun. I should have saved you for last. Don't think hammers are really gonna help too much. I, the number one thing I gotta avoid is just them pushing me off the edge. I'd rather just get smacked to death. Just waiting around. Let's try some other cheese here. Can't really lure them. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Come on, button. I just jumped on top of you. Why can't I do it again? Scrap mechanic, please. Your physics? Thanks. Yeah, I don't know. Well, 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 well. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. Oh, my God. That was... All... Oh, my God. So the explosives are definitely the way to go. Help me. <laughs> All right. I'm really liking this challenge. <laughs> I think I could just uh, go in there guns blazing. My last shotgun. We're gonna do this together. Shotty McShot face. We're gonna shoot some faces in the face. You ready? Shotty? Shotty is like a firearm in my hand. That I can't. I don't, I don't know. I don't know where I was going with that. It's not, it, you know, just ignore my parodies. I don't want to get sued. Is that it? Where do they spawn in from? It looks like that's it, so we just clear this out. How did these guys. And now they're coming after me. Why are they spawning? There's like a sensor that's being triggered or something. I must have destroyed some logic because like I definitely didn't hit the button. Definitely did not hit the button. So kind of kind of useless teammates now. They're attacking me. That's really upsetting to see actually. That um, like the the developers. Oh my gosh, the developers of this game. They they add in the mechanics of like. Painted bots will fight against each other or like be your teammates, but like there's not actually specific mechanics about Because as you can see those bots were not my allies and there's not really a specific way to control that as far as I know Like to say the, the bots won't attack a player Or specific players like there's just no real control behind Too simple I think is what I'm trying to say Let's just, uh... I, I, I mean, I gotta try this again. I gotta always try this. 
Ah, shoot. Could not get on top of it in time. Okay, let's get those teammates. It should just be the last stage, right? I think, yeah, this is level F. Or we're effed. Oh, that's why the heart said F earlier. Oh, come on. There goes the shoddy. There goes the shoddy. Shoddy's like a firearm in my hand. Well, I just gotta make do with uh, what I got, I guess. Walk. <laughs> I like the walk. Yeah, you can't. Okay, you can't even submit too many batteries. All right, in we go. Just never let go of the trigger here. Never ever. I don't think I'm gonna run out of ammo, but I'm not letting go. It's not happening. Home from work, I miss anything fun. Oh, I I was not keeping track of ah when uh, when you actually left. I mean, I don't know how I could, but I've just been cheesing this one challenge for the past um, with the timer stay at the top 46 minutes plus a, like an extra half hour before that. <laughs> that's, is that a tape bot? Oh, that's my tape bot. But it's still gonna shoot me because it's not actually my tape bot. Traitor. I think I thoroughly... Oh, hi. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. Push the button. Push the button. No! I just... Oh. I, I should have done it with a hammer. And I can't even tell how many spuds I used up. Because I'm respawning so much. Yeah, I'm almost out of guns, too. And hammers. This is the second last Gatling and Hammer. Okay, what can I... Oh, they're just both over there. Um... Excuse you. Okay, wait, so the explosive didn't explode. Um, maybe I can, uh, maybe I can just make him fall. No, 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 don't, don't go that way. Yeah, 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 come here, come here. Oh, I got him. Kaboom, and then he gets the other one, nice. No, 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 no. These are my teammates. Why are you shooting me? <laughs> no. You're supposed to help. Oh, my God. Okay, so no more Gatling gun. Oh, and it's nothing but tape bots. This is supposed to be helpful to me, right? How are you spawning it? Maybe it's just part of the, maybe it's part of the level. Maybe it's part of the level. I don't know. I thought the white stuff was supposed to be... They shoot players last if colored. I, yeah, I understand that, but like the entire purpose of the white bots in this challenge is supposed to be my teammates to help me against the other bots. And I understand if they, they're not supposed to survive because the number, like if you're just playing a numbers game, the teammates never outlast the wave of bots. So like, it's a, it's an unusual scenario right now where they're just becoming more of a problem than helping. And I didn't even push the button. I didn't... I, this must be the logic that I blew up earlier. Oh, wait. I do have Gatling gun. Good, good, good. It's the last Gatling and the last... The last hammer. Right now is the last Gatling, last hammer. Oh, 
Oh my god, they still got a shot in. What is exploding? Is that an explosive tape out or something? Alright, let's hope. There you go, a little sidestep to not get shot in the face. I think that's it. No, no, there's still... Oh, no, 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 that's the, that's the cheer thing. Robotics that I saw earlier. So the, the bots are cleared. Yeah, this thing makes noise. That sounds like a bot. Okay, so then don't just clear out the explosives. No, 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 no. Why? Like, come on. I have two lives. Or now one. Oh my god. I got so close. I came so far. I cheesed so much. Only to fail right at the end. No Gatling, no shotgun, just regular spud guns. And no hammers. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. It's not even at the door. Okay, now you're at the door. Whoa, that was close, that was close. Ah, they're not even there. Did you fall off? I think, okay, I think they fell off. Oh my god. Okay, they fell off, they fell off, they fell off. <sighs> How in the flippity floop do I deal with this? I'm scared to walk anywhere because it's gonna spawn some teammates, apparently. I'm gonna run out of spud guns. This is, okay, 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 okay. I just gotta destroy the stuff, right? I just gotta destroy the stuff. But, like, why does that set something off? I should be able to walk without spawning anything in. Right? 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 No! We're good? What am I missing? Oh, oh no, we're good, we're good, we're good. It's coming back down. Oh! 52, 55. <laughs> Was it worth it? I don't know. I had fun with the challenge, though. What was that called? Robots Arena. This one. Robots Arena 0.6.0. Alright, what else do I have on my to-do list? I think that was it for the challenges. I think next time we'll check out some extra mods and stuff. I mean, I could probably check it out today. What was what, what, the time like today? Well, I've been streaming it for almost three hours. Let's pop into creative mode a little bit. Flat world uh, tank loop thing. Mod, yeah. I got a list of... Hold on a second, let me find this paper. Because I use archaic methods of... Keeping track of ideas. Okay, I there is something that I want to try to build in, in creative mode. Yeah, none of this. Oh, oh, why is this so? What was this? Oh, this was the weight is great. Right, I forgot the weight is great. Um, 
what did I save it as? Oh my god. So many pumpkins, too. Can I just see, like... My blueprints? Where are my blueprints? They're all down here. Where is the, the the scale for the weight is great? Apparently I don't have it saved, so I gotta save this. The weight is great. And if you don't know what that is, we'll play a little we'll, we'll play that game in a little bit. Oh yeah, and I was also supposed to design a wheel that you can spin to land on a number. Ding, 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 you win. Well, anyway, now that I have it saved, allow clear, clear, yes. A three-step system to guarantee people get frustrated. All right, now, what I want to build, what I want to build. I think I'm gonna go for something a little bit simpler. Save the complicated build for next time. Okay. Little stick. Little sticky stick. And on this, we're gonna put... Uh, where is... Maybe an exometer will work, but I think I wanted to use a orient block. And I might end up using the scriptable computer as well. Um, for the world... Yeah. Maybe. Okay, and we're probably going to need a, a smart engine just because uh, the Orient block doesn't do vanilla engines anymore. We don't need three. We don't need two, actually. We just need speed. Just to get started. Huh? Oh, you know what? I'm not allowed to do this. <laughs> okay, hold on. I, I just gotta wait for it to come back around. There you go. So I think the way that uh, the Orient Block messes up Never mind. I don't know anything about it. Oh wait, no, that should be WS. I mean AD. What am I... <laughs> My brain... AD. There you go. Because that is the AD direction for that. Why are you not doing the thing that, I, that you should be doing? I feel like I'm going crazy because... do this upside down. It should work just fine. So why doesn't it work when I build it the other way around? I don't know. I'm just going to skip all of this and use a use a thing here. 
There you go. Just te test the tilt. So then this is gonna be zero, right? Oh, this is uh, this is what I. No, I, I think I'm gonna go back to the Orient block. <laughs> Jeez. I just wanted to build a, a, like a simple Orient thing. Done it so many times before. As a matter of fact. Okay, never mind. I don't have any of my blueprints. Okay, so that's a very, very simple way of, you know, trying to get it to orient where where you want it to. So let's get that out of there. It's stuck. That's not very... Okay, now that we put it upside down. Why? That's not your zero. That's 90. Why are you stuck at 90? You know, <laughs> you know, <laughs> I just want. <laughs> all right, all right. Let's get this out of here. I'm being a dingus. That's what's going on. Okay, so that should be fine, except I want. I want it the other way. Uh, exactly what I had before. kind of weird. Why does it do that? What? How are you even stuck like that? What? Okay, so that's that's how it's like supposed to lock into place. I mean, I built so many of these before. How am I? What are you doing? <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is just the Orient block that's so broken. So back to this thing. Minus this. Cool. There we go. There we go. That's that's what I'm looking for. <laughs> all right, all right. Finally. <laughs> Jeez. Um. 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 Now. What I want to do is get this out of here. I'm uh, I'm a little bit of a dingus. What I should have done was build this better. Okay, I need pipes, pipes, pipes is what I need. I think I'll still be able to put my Orient thing right in here. And 
you'll still be able to swing around. Wait, 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 wait. Here. There we go. Great. Great, great, great. Okay, like that. Great! Absolutely great. <laughs> okay. Why? What? Did you see that? This is not powered bearing. Non powered bearing. What the heck, scrap mechanic? Do you mean you could just put a switch on a thruster and call it a day? What for this? Yeah, okay, you know what? We're we're changing this. Oh my god, just stop. You know what? I'm moving my logic. This is annoying. Not on the floor. Orient, Orient, Orient. There you go. Okay, now, now I can actually do the thing that I set out to do. We're probably gonna put it out. Actually, we're probably gonna make it taller by one. Okay, so with that bearing, we're going to put... Maybe I don't need the ridiculously heavy, maybe I can get away with the super heavy. No, that's not going to work. Blah! Fine, I'll do it uh, one more out, like this too. Okay, let's give that a try. Will it will it reach the top? I don't know. It seems to be like a, just an automatic swinging feedback loop, which is really good, based on a reaction wheel. But the goal that I'm actually going for here is to just get a stable upside down pendulum. Which this seems to be pretty good, but then as soon as you're up past the point, you probably want to switch. Yeah, now see that's slowing you down to stabilize there. That's not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for the other way around. Maybe it's way too fast. So there's still like a little bit of logic to do if I, oh. If I can just get it to, to rest at the top, we'll do one, one higher. Yeah, and now it's just looping all the way around.
weird. I don't know how to work my own invention. I want it to I want it to balance upside down. But I don't know how to do that. More spin is definitely a way to do that. I might have to Oh god, don't don't run away on me. <laughs> I might have to build this in, in like an initialized state pointing up. Oops. Okay, so nothing was supposed to happen anyway, since it's uh, perfectly balanced. That's kind of weird. I, I'm not sure. This is this is this is right ish. Can I somehow get this to not? It's it's it's. I have to build it welded to the ground. But sucks for testing because I can't exactly test what's a good value. So let's just up this by a lot. Just a just a whole hundred. See what happens. That was definitely not not even close enough. No, it's just going the wrong way. I think I'm just being a dingus. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the spin that I want. So it's trying to lift itself up. Now the pro- now, 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 we got the, uh, other problem. Where, you see, it's stuck like this because of a, because of a reaction wheel thingy or whatever. I could give it more power. More speed or whatever. But you, you, yeah, it's gotta find a way to get up there. And stay up there. Okay, so it knows how to stop itself. Can you spin faster to, to go more? Hmm. Like, this is pretty cool as a stable thing. I was just stopped there and, it, you know, floating. Counteracted just by spinning weight. Uh, one thing that I wanted to add, though, was just to check the measurement. If, if the pole is actually, like, under here... I want to invert the uh, the direction so that it purposely swings the other way to go back up. But the problem is, I need to understand. I need to uh, program the logic f like to understand which direction it's attempting to spin versus which direction it's actually spinning. That's kind of a the the strange part is. Like, increasing this, we, we can go up and up like that. And I think we're going faster and faster, and then until we get to here, where we're getting close to zero. Which is good, it should stop, right? But then, like, how is it waving back and forth like that? I don't know. If I try to turn it on with a couple hundred right when it's at the top...
Yeah, I'm still missing a little piece of the puzzle here. And you can see it is, like, increasing in speed more and more and more. But all that's serving to do is just change our descent to be very, very slow. It's still very linear, our descent, sort of. No, it seems like we nestled into a little stopping point. But our speed is still increasing, I think. So that's the problem, is that to go up, to actually move the thing up, it's acceleration that changes the angle. It's not the speed that changes the angle. So I need to tell this engine, accelerate with this amount. Instead of... Hmm, I might pull out the scriptable computer, but... Hold on a second, let me read chat for a sec. Uh... Instead of comparing the current angle, compare it to the current angle plus current velocity times arbitrary number. Current angle, current velocity. No, that's still the linear, that's not the, uh, that's not the relation that I'm looking for, because it's, it's the... Hmm. I don't know how to explain it. I'm pretty sure the engine right now is at a constant speed, because we're at a constant angle. That's just the way that I wired it. Um... But we want to go past that. We want this input value to say drive up instead of stop here. And you would think that just means increasing the multiplier, right? Which it technically sort of is. But that's not that's not the that's not the relation that I'm looking for. So I, I think let's uh, let's let's turn this off. Oh my god, just stop. Okay. So the current angle is... Pretty much the speed value, right? So all we gotta do is actually just uh, put... Bada bing, bada boom. Like that, squared. Okay, maybe that's too high. Maybe that's too high. Yeah, because we're working we're working with exponents now. Okay. Sort of promising. No, no, we lost it again. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, you see how it you see how it like specifically tries to stop right at the top? That's okay, okay. I'm understanding now. I'm understanding what I'm doing wrong here. Cause um this is zero, which means we're not doing anything when we're at the top. Carrying our momentum from previous numbers. When if we're moving somewhere, we actually want to stop even if we're at zero. We want to spin somewhere. Depending on our momentum. Oh my gosh. Use sign function. What do you mean use sign function? <laughs> that's not that's not that's not that's not how that works. I thought the square, because, um, the speed, the speed of your speed is, uh, your acceleration, right? So, the more s demand for speed that there is, the more you should accelerate, which is just fed into speed, because that's the, that's the engine setting. Which happens to work out with the, with the exponents, because... 
We're just telling, you know what, the, this, yeah. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> this, that's, uh, that's, that's what I determined. I don't know what I'm doing. We're getting the wavy back and forth for a value of two, three, four. Yeah, this is so, it's more unstable. You know, uh, hold on a second. There was a thing. Is Lego Freak in the chat? I remember Lego Freak showed me PID stuff. I gotta see that simple setup that they did. See if I can recreate it. Maybe this is a time to use PID. Also, I gotta not click out of my chat window. Okay, so you had like a red and like a red like this, right? Oops, third red? What was it? Third row red, yeah. So you connect these two, you also had a white. Multiplication. And that was just with a switch. To turn the thing on. Okay, so I don't know what the the values were inside of those red things, but it does say what it should be. Right? I multiply. Okay, cool. I did. Ah, did... oh. <laughs> I'm so frustrated with Brent Batch <laughs> for several reasons. I have plenty of reasons to be, but like it comes down to the little things like. There's no, there's nothing about what PID is in this, and I told him that it was never going to be used by people, specifically because there's no, nothing, all, whatever. I'm not even gonna get into it. Blah! Just frustrated. Because, like, I, I multiplier. What is that? I'll just set it to one, because I don't know. Uh, t I time. Okay, so I'm just gonna, this, this is in ticks, right? Default value is 400, so you don't even need to set it. Oh wait, but I'm setting it to zero, by mistake. Um... Four hundred ticks, as in like ten seconds? So 40 ticks from 0 to 1. Okay, so then this is just a number to set. I multiplier. Okay, I think I understand. D multiplier and P multiplier. Oh my god, process value and set. Wait, what? Black is process value? Then what is I? <laughs> what? Oh my god. I look. I think uh tomorrow I well I wanted to stream some other games too. Maybe I'll do two live streams tomorrow because it's a Saturday. I'll do one in the morning, one in the afternoon. Um so we're gonna be checking out some more mods. Similar to this uh player teleporter mod. I like to just check out see what mods there are which which are useful or whatever. And I did see something that uh, piqued my interest a little bit because it's very very similar to some of the stuff that was on my to-do list for the future of number logic uh, stuff. So there's an interesting mod to, to check out. Oh boy. Why, why did I even bring that up? 
was... <laughs> I'm, I'm inevitably, on that stream, inevitably I'm gonna end up talking about the differences between some mod makers. Um... Gosh. I really don't know how else to... I'm gonna make some people mad at me, I think. But like, uh... Oh God, I, maybe there's something that I can actually point uh, you guys to. Or for any of the haters that are actually mad at me. Like, maybe there's Brent Batch in the chat right now. Because, like, I'm... Okay, okay, okay. I I think... Okay. <laughs> I didn't want to get into it. I didn't want to uh, start any drama or anything. It is, first of all, there isn't any actual drama in the Scrap Mechanic community. It just seems like a very mediocre thing to call drama. The Scrap Mechanic community is not large enough to have something that's so... People don't... What, what do people gossip about anyway? There's nothing to gossip about. There's no drama. I don't... The the thing that people call drama, though, is just... Because, more or less, the team that was working on the mod pack fell apart uh, due to... What, from my perspective, looks like people just making random assumptions or more or less questioning if they can just do the entire mod themselves. And if they are entitled to because they contributed to the mod. Anyway, I, I, that, that's all old stuff. I don't want to get into that. But, um... So, for example, Brent. I th the, the reason why I even approached him in the first place was because I thought that he had talent as a mod maker, and that was a good thing. So, like, I'm, I'm... You know, compliment for Brent. I'm not saying that he's a bad mod maker or anything like that. But he was brought onto the team for... To be a specialist, right? This is something that I've definitely described before. Um, the point of creating a team to do something is just to delegate tasks. You, you split apart tasks to, onto several people. And if you're going to be doing that anyway, right? Like if you split apart the mod pack into, um, into like textures, 3D models, uh, scripting, and just in general, like this is the part that I usually leave out when I put uh, examples like that, but, but there's like other parts that make a good mod, which is actually design. There's a lot of philosophy that you can actually learn about how to design things for a game that are better than other things. I mean, you can, <laughs> you like, if you're one of the people that sits there and like looks at the sea of hundreds and thousands of games and you think, nah, all the game designers are on the same level, you're wrong. You're absolutely wrong. Game design is something that can be good or bad. And there's some professionals at it, and there's some people that are absolutely noobs at it, and they don't have a clue what they're doing. And indie devs are in a terrible position because they have to be everything. Whether they're a small team or a single individual, they literally have to have all the skills to put a major project together. And if they don't even realize that they need a part of their project, like for example, good 3D models, then in their mind, they're gonna think, well, my game's perfect the way that it is, even if it has silly looking 3D models. And that might actually be the case. Three, any individual component is not detrimental to the game as a whole, right? You can, you can probably find a really, really fun game to play that looks like garbage, but you still play it because it's just fun. It's value for what it is. What I'm, why I'm bringing that up though, whoa is try to try to imagine someone that has the competence that is like such a, a pure genius or whatever that they can do all of the individual components the design of making a mod for a scrap mechanic the 3d models the textures the scripting literally every in component that goes into making a fantastic mod they are the undisputed champion they're literally the best at everything if you can imagine a person like this you would probably just give up on mod making because you would think nothing that you could do measures up to what they can do. However, however, even that professional would still say a team is better because if you are doing 10 out of 10 tasks and you're a single person, you have to do 10 tasks. And that's gonna take you the time it takes to you to do 10 tasks. I mean, that sounds obvious, right? But let's say you have a team of 10 people all of a sudden, you give each person one task, the entire project is done in the time of one task, not 10 tasks. 
literally 10 times faster just by putting it just by delegating tasks all right now the person that is super talented and can do everything or whatever might argue well why would i allow you know a mod to be of lower quality when i can just do it all myself it comes at the cost of time and it doesn't even have to be of lower quality because anyone else in the scrap mechanic modding community could be just as capable of doing whatever component up to the same skill level or talent right if you imagine like some maximum like that so that's the point of getting a specialist somebody that spends their entire time doing the one type of thing they're going to naturally like they've just spent the most time they're they're they have the advantage of just uh, being the, the most talented at that thing. There's, if you're comparing a jack of all trades and somebody that's a specialist, the specialist is always going to have more talent in whatever it is that they're specializing in. So the the imaginary person that I said that can do it all, they they already have to split their focus in the way that they think about the project, and they're not going to be able to dedicate uh, certain skills to doing like the best 3D models, for example. Whew. So anyway, uh, that that is more or less the things that uh, some of the mod pack contributors never understood when they came into the project to begin with. So you probably will still be able to find it on the Steam Workshop. Um, and that's why I brought up Brent Batch, because he was specifically somebody that didn't understand that everyone had their task to do that made the mod pack great for what it is and we had a schedule to to keep to so like certain things that <laughs> every time that he would bring up a question that was always framed in the way like oh well why do you get to decide how things are it's not that i get to decide how things are it's that that <laughs> it's that that's how it should be so that the project doesn't fail <laughs> it's not it it's oh but but how do you explain this to somebody that uh, like already makes the assumption that you're not actually doing anything for 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 the the project that you invented like you know what i mean it's kind of weird but anyway like i was saying you can actually find this on steam workshop still you'll probably find the mod pack weapons it's literally all the stuff that's in the mod pack beta i think like just from here down to here i think just from just all these items here uh, maybe this one too. Um, and that was Brent Batch very specifically insisting that he wanted to release those parts as a separate pack. And I tried to explain to him that you can't just take a subset of parts out of a huge pack like, like, like the mod pack beta already is and expect everyone to go to this pack when they can get more, more bang for their buck for the other pack. And this was during my time discussing with the guys why the the Steam Workshop is a terrible format. Having packs of parts is kind of a terrible format because it forces mod makers to do these dumb things with packs. <laughs> but anyway, this is this is more or less the 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 root of the problem between um, the the mod pack contributors and myself is stuff like that like um like god how, what's the word that i'm looking for it's it was like a token um it, 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 i don't think brent actually cared about the mod pack weapons but it was a uh, it was a reason to like test his authority i guess is one way to to, to phrase it like he, he asked to have specifically this separate publication which he was very insistent that he be the one that uploads so that his name is shown on the Steam Workshop for the mod pack weapons. Overall, it made it made it very clear to me that Brent cared about his name on uh, being on the scripts that he wrote for these parts. He didn't do the 3D models. He didn't do any 3D models. But he was very insistent on being the person that publishes that pack. And that's the thing that I generally point to when I try to explain to people like Brent Batch and Technologic Nick that they did. Th this is the 
precisely the reason why they didn't know what I was actually doing in the mod pack. They literally thought that I sat around doing nothing, bossing people around. The person that actually came up with the designs in the first place, I, I, that's work. That's work that you have to do to actually create something in game design that players enjoy using. There's lots of things that you can make that players will never touch because it's a piece of garbage. And like there's some of that in here as well, like this one. Like I, I came up with this idea entirely myself. And this is a part that players will never use because it's just generally not that great of a design. It's just an exploit of scrap mechanics physics where it's supposed to be a bottom heavy. See like that? It's just a loose part that's bottom heavy. And you can see how that works because the collision for the model is that tall, but there's no collision down here. So it falls through the ground and 50% of its mass is underground. That's how it uh, that's how it does that. Anyway, 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 that's why this that's why the mod pack beta is beta because there's a things that are just experimental and like game breaking sometimes. But trying to explain this to um, to Brent Batcher like Technologic Nick like there are reasons why things are decided the way they are. There are reasons why things are designed the way they are. They didn't come up with the mod pack or any of the any of the stuff like that. Uh, the the thing, yeah, yeah, yeah. I I got I lost track for a second here. The thing that I was actually saying uh, was the reason why Brent cared so much to have his name attached to a, a unique mod pack, specifically named the mod pack, like the, the the brand name mod pack. He was very insistent on that. Why that's important to Brent is exactly the same reason why Brent will not be able to design good mods. That sounds like a terrible thing that I just said, but all I said was that he's holding himself back from realizing what good design actually is, because he's more concerned about dumb things like the publication of a pack, when there's so many other things to consider. And, I, I, and I, I feel like I need to reiterate what I said earlier. I wouldn't have talked to Brent if I didn't think that he had talent as a mod maker. It's um, really upsetting to me that I literally just tried to help the guy get started into mod making and he somehow like destroyed his entire reputation, threw everything out over some dumb thing. Which itself, like I don't even know how he, <laughs> like who convinced him to do that? Seems like Nick to me, but whatever. The only thing that I want to point out was, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, because I mentioned that we're going to be checking out some other mods, some new mods, some fancy new mods, actually. I'm really excited to see the the, the, the stuff that it sounds very similar to some of the future mods that I had planned. So I'm actually really curious to see what some of these other mod makers are doing. But I am going to be a little bit critical of it, uh, of what I see. And that's why I went into that whole spiel about the differences between mod makers. Some mod makers can completely ruin a good idea because they're motivated by the completely wrong things. And that all has to do with just game design. It's actually something that uh, Axolot Games could learn a lesson from too, because... <laughs> oh my gosh. Again, like, same thing. I, I look, uh, you know, I look at Scrap Mechanic positively. I think there's, like, a great opportunity here. But to me, it seems like they have never spent an ounce of thought thinking about game design as a philosophy. Like, they, has any of them gone to school to, to learn design principles? It drives me a little bit nuts. And I'm not talking about, like, the visual design or graphic design. Because the game's only looked better and better over the years. That's why I tend to say that the game is like, uh, the developers look like a bunch of artists that are trying to make a game. Because like, that's all the areas that they're excelling in. And then all the areas that they're not excelling in is precisely what they're missing. I mean, that sounds obvious, right? <laughs> but, but like, it is what it is. They need someone, because like, look back at the release of survival mode. What was it? You know what I mean? <laughs> it's, uh, when survival mode was released, the game was already 
popular-ish, like thousands of players playing the game. It's uh, around as popular as it is now, actually. So there was a hump for survival mode and then it went away and the game is pretty much back to where it was before, which pretty much indicates to the developers that survival mode did absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing for the game's popularity. Adding challenge mode, adding survival mode, adding doing all the their Twitter posts and things like that, like, they don't actually increase their game's popularity at all. And it, uh, it... To me, it made it seem like they're chasing a dream type of thing. But it's different when it's, when it's like what I said, uh, uh, like, a bunch of artists trying to make a game, because if you assume that you know everything, all the components, individual components to make a game then you're not going to touch those other components that you don't know that you should, and you're just going to wonder why your game's not succeeding. But if you if you actually know... Oh God, if you actually know all the individual components that goes into a game, then you're probably going to look for specialists to do that. You can't... Like, you're not going to pretend to do it yourself. Indie developers are really in a, a tough situation like that. Because, like, I, I mean... What am I even ranting about anymore? I don't even know. <laughs> it was just to point out, because, like, I, I do consider myself um, a competent mod maker. I can make 3D models. I can make scripts. I can make textures, right? I, I, I can do all of these things, but I can also, you know, cook my own dinner. It doesn't mean I'm a chef. I don't call myself a chef just because I can cook food. I don't call... I'm not a specialist in any way for any of the individual things in mod making for Scrap Mechanic. And I generally just do it out of, uh, uh, out of like... Um, you know, I just... I, my, my attitude towards mod making was just like, oh, you know, fuck it, I'll just, you know, try to make a mod, whatever. Like, I, I really didn't care that much. I wasn't super invested in that. It same goes for my YouTube channel, actually. I'm kind... I think... I, I'm gonna be real with you guys. I think the one thing that I'm actually like super scared of is myself and not being as in control and competent as I want to be. So I never put 100% into anything that I do. And that gives me the plausible deniability that, oh, I, you know, if I actually tried, then I could have actually done better. I could have actually done what I set out to do. You know what I mean? So, you know, that's a little bit uh, revealing of, of my psychology there. But yeah, I, I, like, I genuinely feel like I didn't try for anything that I did on YouTube, for anything that I did with mod making. I would say that I have never actually exerted myself fully. I still have more to try. Um, but the thing that I'm actually good at would be the design portion, the design components. Like, if I had to pick one thing, it's the... It, it sounds very lazy, but it's the idea guy. <laughs> and because, like, people get the impression, like, oh, so you just sit around and, like, come up with ideas or whatever. People are under the impression that it's an easy thing to do. But it's like anything else. There are people that are very skilled at it, and there are people that are, like to pretend they're skilled at it. And there are people that just aren't. And they know that they aren't. <laughs> so... I, I, you know, for, for what it's worth, I can tell you there's actually, like, a science that goes into how I try to come up with ideas. And besides just a, a fun idea that I personally want to play around with, the implementation of that idea in the game that you call Scrap Mechanic is the other super important factor that just about every mod maker skips over entirely. Like, I, I have yet to see another mod maker besides myself and MJM that actually thought about some design principles. Actually, you know what? Lord Payne was pretty good, too. I don't know if he knows what he's doing, though. You know what I mean? Kind of, like, accidentally good. Like, he, he did it just by, you know, by his own nature. He just did, does pretty good designs. But, like, you can, you can, you know, consciously be aware of what's good design and not good design. Like, you can learn that if you want to learn that. Just like uh, just like 3D modeling, just like scripting. What was the point of all this? Oh yeah, 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 I, I do consider myself like a jack of all trades. Like I could have made the mod pack 
all myself. I could have done all the components myself. Um, but I know for a fact, like, I, I purposely stepped down from creating 3D models. I, because Lord Payne is better than me at it, right? He's, he's just significantly better. Like, I think he was the one that did the, um, do I have it in my hotbar? Gravity modules. He was the one that did these. And it's great. I mean, you know, simple, kept to the style of Scrap Mechanic. Put the branding on there. Like, he did exactly what I asked him to do. Perfect. It, you know, I, I can still... If I look at this and I look at a vanilla model, I can tell the difference between Lord Payne and, uh, and Axolot's 3D models. And their model makers. Like, I can tell the difference. But, uh... It's more effort than I would have put in the 3D model. I literally gave uh, Lord Payne the, the designs and like the idea on how to do that, along with, um, actually a lot. Well, I mean, all of it was my design, but, um, well, I, okay, wait, no, I, I don't know if I can say that, because there's some other things that are... What am I looking for right now? I just want to look at the mod pack parts. Physics toy pack, I haven't checked that out. I want to check that out. Lord Payne also did the wings too, I think. This was a model that I did. Oh, you know what? I can actually show you guys a little something something. Because I think the MJM mod has the alternate model for the gimbal thruster. From the mod pack. Yeah, this is the one right here. Not this one. This one. So when I told the guys about the gimbal thruster, we had to do the, the animations, right? Because the gimbal thruster animate... It's an animated part. I, I think you should have known that already. How are you attached? There you go. There you go. You can see the gimbal thruster... You already know what it does, but the thruster is always going to point up no matter the orientation of the of, of the frame. So there's two axes to rotate on this gimbal thruster. It's exactly like the, the turret seat that you're you're all waiting for. Um but yeah, the two different models. I actually created this one myself. And this was another one that was proposed um by I think it was just Lord Payne. Very similar, and I would argue that this one's better because it's just it has uh, just a point of rotation here and arms to a point of rotation here instead of two rings like this. Visually, I mean, uh, like functionally, they are the same part, but visually they're different and different styles too. And this 3D model uh, that I created, you can see it's sort of like based around the idea of what uh, what uh, 747 like jet engines are. Just like a small little jet with a little output here, and then two rings to tilt it. This was a, more or less a prototype design. I didn't care about how this looked. I th this is literally a, a like a 10 minute job in not even Blender. It was another 3D program that I did that, that I did. But I gave them the model. They rigged it for animation, and uh, and that's that, that's that. Yeah, the reason why the mod pack has this model and not this model is because um it is because of another misunderstanding actually <laughs> uh i wanted this to be i wanted one of them to be a one by one by one gimbal thruster like the size of a single block and the the large one is the size of three by three by three for comparison there if you wanted to see so one model was supposed to be one by one by one the other model was supposed to be three by three by three and we were sort of in the pro like okay because I, I i showed them what gimbal thruster is i showed them this prototype model i they were working on scripts and animation and stuff like that when they were done uh they also presented this alternate model which was completely out of the blue completely surprised so i didn't have as the person that came up with the design for the gimbal thruster i was like whoa i didn't have any input into this but I did say that it was actually very good, and that I just wanted to some time to think about it, because, well, that's, that's what I ended up coming up with. We'll just use both of them, 
one for three by three by three, one for one by one by one, and I wanted to talk to them about it later, at some point later, because we had other things to do. That, I think, was misinterpreted as just a straight up no, we're not using the new model. And so, <laughs> so the mod pack was stuck with only one gimbal thruster like this, and, uh, and MDM just took the model for his. Which, I, you know, I'm not upset about. I think this is MJM's model, I think? Or was it Lord Payne's? I don't know. It's not really important. The thing that I'm only pointing out is that uh, it's those misunderstandings that... Like, you can't misinterpret someone saying no to you when they're only saying not yet. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's such, a, it, it, it's such a frustrating thing that... I think a lot of the misunderstandings between mod makers are exactly that. Exactly dumb little situations like that. Like, they literally would have had their, their 3D model in the mod pack like they wanted. But to, to the per- Yeah, see, that's the thing though, that's the thing though. Why is that so important to them? There has to be someone in the position that thinks like the way that I did. Where it doesn't matter who makes the model. It doesn't matter if you're happy if your model's used in the mod pack or not. It doesn't matter if you're upset that your model is not used in the mod pack. The mod pack is for the players, not for you as a mod maker, right? So like, I, I was never really <laughs> considerate towards the mod pack contributors. <laughs> but that was because I was, all, all, the I, again, because nobody else put the focus on players. Someone had to actually consider about how the design is implemented so the mod is even useful. And like, that, you're gonna see that on the Steam Workshop too. A lot of the mods that seem like they're getting really close to touching on a good idea, they don't take it anywhere. You know what I mean? They don't actually like take it to where it should be so that players go and start picking it up and telling their friends about it. Instead, it it's almost like as if the mod maker rushed to get the idea out there publish it so that their name is attached to it so that they can claim like oh i'm I, you know i'm i'm the one that made that idea or whatever but uh, like again as as the person that's like the idea guy or whatever to me that looks silly you should never have to rush to claim you know quote unquote i'm doing air quotes but you can't see quote unquote claim an idea like that that doesn't work that way and all that ends up happening is you end up ruining the idea for everyone entirely. So that's why I'm a little bit worried about checking out some of these new mods for a scrap mechanic, because a lot of them seem like they're really close to touching up on, on, a, on a good idea, but I wonder if they're gonna have that magic to them, the secret formula that, you know, will have made the entire thing worth it to begin with. And again, this like goes back to the difference between if a mod maker is proud of their own work versus if the mod itself does good for the game called Scrap Mechanic. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm where's the Steam charts? Can I show you? You just gotta go to like Steam charts, see how many players are playing Scrap Mechanic. It's like between two and 4,000 every day now. Uh, and it's like going down too. So there's, um, you know, not a whole lot of players playing Scrap Mechanic, but like if, you, as a mod maker, add something to the game that increases that number, then you've already done better than survival mode. Because survival mode was a small hump and then went right back down. It didn't increase. Oh yeah, and that's what I was really talking about. Like, the, the developers of these games... This game, I mean. This game in particular. The developer of this game. <laughs> uh, this... These devs... It, it, they just... Bleh. To me, anyway. To me, anyway. It seems like they desperately just need someone to to be the type of brain that they're not. Because, like... Oh, my God. They're so, Okay, because, like... You, you guys read the tweets. You guys read the dev blogs. You should know how heavily invested the developers were into survival mode. So, like, why was it such a big flop? And the reason is quite simply because the developers thought they had something when they didn't have that thing. They actually had something else entirely, and that's the thing that players were attracted to. So when the developers are chasing this dream of like fully investing into survival mode because they think that's the thing that's going to sell the game, of course they're going <laughs> to... 
of course they're gonna get hit with the cold water when uh, when people are like, okay, now that you're done, you know, pleasing yourself, Axel, why don't you do what we want? So uh, just just to like explain what I mean, Scrap Mechanic started out. It's a physics sandbox game. There's um, there's blocks. They can collide with each other. They can interact. I mean, th this is all obvious stuff again. <laughs> but uh, if you think of like old games, like super super old games, the more that you could actually do in the game, the the, the cooler it was. So. Uh, later versions of GTA allowed you to, you know, drive around in cars. It had damage in car, like better, more detailed damage in cars. It had um, just like different ways that you can interact with people. You can run over more pedestrians at once. You know, there, there's just more stuff to the base game engine that Rockstar Games made for for Grand Theft Auto. My point is, that's what Scrap Mechanic was a game engine that was very appealing because it's this format of blocky physics uh, and then like each block can have different properties and like that's all very appealing to just pe I don't know people like me that just like to play around in the sandbox if I had the money I would just buy all this materials and put it in my garage and probably not even build anything with it I'd probably hire somebody else to build it for me my point is, <laughs> that's what's fun about an engineering physics sandbox game. That's the thing that Axolot had way back in the beginning. That's the thing that attracted those thousands of players in the beginning, before survival mode. Challenge mode, like I said, didn't really do a whole lot to increase the player- wow. Didn't really do a whole lot to increase the player base for Scrap Mechanic. Uh, it didn't- yeah, it just it didn't really change anything, but it was still a good addition. Um, and I I don't know if like that. I guess what I'm saying is I don't think it attracted any new players just because this game had a challenge mode. The thing that's still the main attraction is the physics sandbox, engineering playground thing. So when it comes down to it, that's why the mod pack ended up being a lot of what it is, uh, is specifically to exploit the differences in the game's engine itself. So the very second that um, buoyancy and uh, friction and, and, and bounciness... Bounce! Bounce isn't listed as a stat. Why is bounce not listed as a stat? But anyway, the very second that those things were added to the game, uh, I did my mod maker thing and started exhausting all different possibilities. See, this is the bouncy block. All different possibilities for what you could do with these additions. And this is the ice block, zero friction. Yeah, that's just, you keep on sliding. Boing, boing, boing. And like, you, you know, you might look at these and think like, well, these are kind of nothing, right? A bouncy block and an ice block. It's kind of nothing. It's kind of obvious. But it's not like a fantastic idea in and of itself. Like a, maybe like a nuke is or like a campfire. I think the campfire is pretty cool, to be honest. Bah, I'm on fire. Bah. Anyway, <laughs> what was I even talking about? <laughs> oh yeah, 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 because th that's th that's sort of more towards the secret of like the design principles that I was sort of mentioning earlier is you have to explore the, I guess the very, yeah, the very essence of what the game's engine actually is. Uh, for you to even discover the opportunity for individual ideas like a bouncy block or a low friction block. I mean, obviously the vanilla game has some of those blocks, but I, the, the ice block was made before this block was. Glowing block, invisible block. So like, I guess, uh, I, I really don't know how to... <laughs> I really don't know how to explain what it is that I do 
Because it's not, uh, it, it's... It's not... Gosh, I don't know how to think about it. If you're the person managing a project, and you have to talk to all of the individual team members, like the individual components of, you know, textures, uh, 3D models, script writing, and all that, you have to... What am I trying to say? The position of being a mod maker and all you're doing is being a specialist, and, like all you do is write scripts, that's very simple. That's a very simple way to, to, to live your life and use your talents. The job of actually managing the project is more complicated than that because you have, you have to consider how somebody else manages their part of the project. And that is a part of a larger equation that affects so many other things. So, like, I know when I say something like, um, oh, all these extra blocks that I made, like, as soon as the physics engine allowed for it, I just exhausted different possibilities. And people get the impression that sitting there and thinking of ideas is, like, a, very, a relatively easy thing to do. Or you just list through the, uh, the different properties, like weight, durability, friction, buoyancy, and what, you just, like iterate through different combinations of them until you until you do it but the question that you still wouldn't answer after doing that is why specifically 100 times ultra heavy why not a thousand times why not just 10 times why not 50 times there's like the specifics of why things ended up the way they did are <laughs> more complicated and more related to um what makes this version of the flubber block more successful than another version of the flubber block like what god it's it's complicated to explain it's it, it really just comes down to uh some mod makers just if you don't care about why players will pick up a mod and use it and you're more even if you care at all about pleasing yourself like congratulations to me i did a very cool mod and you want, you know, pats on the back or something like that. You are Im you're already taking away focus from the job that you should be doing to make a more successful mod. Which is a scary thing to think about because I'm also kind of a lazy person. So, remember what I said about how even my YouTube channel, I feel like I've never really tried. I've never I've never really been the try hard that I that I know that I am, that I can be. Um I'm I'm guilty of the very same thing that I'm saying that other mod makers are, cause uh, cause, well, cause a YouTuber like Mr. Beast, he's trying, he's actually trying, he's not afraid to try, he's not afraid to be a tryhard, and he's showing us all exactly what it can do. And I'm definitely not doing that for my YouTube, so maybe uh, maybe I should take things a little bit more seriously, you know, get down into it. I don't know. Uh, anyway, this, this was uh, quite a <laughs> boring end of the stream. <laughs> uh, did you guys check out my latest video of the of the average thumbnail, the ultimate thumbnail? You guys should check it out. I put a lot of effort into that outro. Can you try building a soft body with ball joints instead of bearings? The ball joints, as far as I know... Do I have it in here? The ball joints, as far as I know, are just... Um, very loosey goosey, so there's it's gonna be 100% flop. Where the heck? Oh, I don't have them, not in this world. Well, shoot. There, if you want to check out my creation real quick, okay, sure. Le what is it? What do, what do I look up? What do I got? What do I gotta look up? I say your outro, it's awesome, Nerf. Well, thanks, Jam Sarns. Can you read links from chat? I mean, you can just tell me the title of the blueprint. I'm going onto the Steam Workshop to search for it. So if it's public, I can get it. But uh, links are automatically blocked on YouTube for the most part, so. Modern Fighter GBU 12. All right. Only checking out one creation though. Look up Brent Batch statue. Oh my god, you're already, you're 
already making me do two. Branch Batch Statue? Are you sure that's what it's called? Because nothing's really coming up for that. Can you also check out my shoddy AI tank called Shit? Oh my god, no. <laughs> you guys are just... You're, here, here comes the... He's the huge list starting. Brent Batch statue. Uh, nothing came up for that. Brent Batch statue. I mean, lots of things came up, but like, what, did, what am I looking for? Maybe just a statue by Brent Batch? There's a lot of statues. Alright, I'm, I'm done looking. <laughs> I'm done looking. No more. Shoddy AI tank does work. Ah! So it's like a follow the target. If the sensor sees me, it shoots. Looks like a very, very simple build. Completely self driving. No fancy logic. Yeah, just very hardwired to drive and shoot. That might actually come very handy for farm bot raids. Alright, well, now that we got this, let's play a little game of The Weight is Great. I should probably weld that. go reset okay get over here tank 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 all right so we attach it right here bada bing bada boom okay so you get Okay, <laughs> so you guys uh, might remember the weight is great from a previous stream. We just guess what is the mass of this creation in its entirety. We can take a look at, see the parts, 94 metal blocks, one wood block. Oh, that's totally going to affect the weight. Five electric engines. I don't remember. My sense of numbers is completely gone, so I'm just going to guess... I'm going to take my guess first, but you guys in chat got to come up with your guess. So my guess is going to be... Wait, what was it? And it's like per 4x4 four four area of blocks, wood is like 500. So a single block of wood is 1 16th of 500. I'm not calculating this in my head. I'm just gonna guess, uh, like, 3,000. No, 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 2,000. No, 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 3,000. No, no, 2... That's 200. That's... Okay, you know what? 2... 22. 2,200 is my guess. Alright, what, what do you... What do you say in chat? What do you think is the mass of this creation? And then we're gonna see who wins. Closest to the actual mass without going over. You gotta be just under it. So, so, I mean, you can just win by just guessing 2,201. Assuming it's heavier. If we're both wrong, then we're both wrong. You guys are saying 2,500? Twenty-two 
2755.1. Okay, <laughs> <Kick it> well. <laughs> uh, you don't need to do that. You're only against me here. This is just uh, the weight is great against one other contestant. 3000. 2201. All right, keep your keep your very unique guesses in mind. We're going to go with 2500 for representing the chat, but you can compare how you do personally. Let's see who wins. Bada bing bada boom, you guys were closer to the actual weight of 3300. 3300. So yeah, you were just 852 off. I was over a thousand off. Dang, it's heavier than it looks. Heavier than it looks. All right, see you later, tank. Um, <clears throat> wait, I made a script to calculate the average of chat numbers. Obese pancake. Why? What? Okay, you gotta share this with me in Discord. If it's like an actual script that I can use that like automatically reads my YouTube chat, I would very much love that. I know it's easy to do with like Twitch chat, and I really should figure out what I'm doing with YouTube and Twitch. Like I said, I've never really been a tryhard. I should probably get off my butt and figure things out. Well, it's Python, not that fancy. Oh, okay. Well, wait, I don't know if, it ha if I have Python installed in this new computer, but whatever. Yes. It doesn't have mods, not in the description. Shoot. Oh, wait, but I can go to the Steam Workshop page. No, it doesn't, wait, it does list mods. Destructible Legend Mod, Cannon Pack, and Wings. I don't know if I even have, all right, well, I'll, I'll check it out some other time. <laughs> it's all right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go, because uh, I didn't eat anything at all today. Been streaming for four hours. So I gotta, you know, t take care of myself a little bit if I'm gonna be around for tomorrow's live stream. Um, hopefully I'll see you guys around then. Thanks for hanging out, folks. Thanks for all the likes and subs. What are the units here? What do you mean, the, the units for this weight? Uh, it's just mass. It's just the arbitrary units of mass that the game uses. You can call it kilograms, but it, you can call it grams, you can call it kilograms, you can call it whatever you want. It's just arbitrary units. So, like, if you do... If you do wood, the, like the wood that I said, and I think uh, metal's like a thousand or something, I, it, it's not so simple like it used to be. I think they changed that. But this would be a total of 500 on the dot for lightweight blocks. And then, like, medium weight was 1,000. Now, this doesn't actually have to do with... Any, like, like I said, you can call it uh, kilograms or anything like that. But uh, if you remember the video that I did on my channel where I show you that you can make anything float. Do I actually have that on my... I don't have any of my blueprints, right? No magic number, no floating platform. Uh, maybe I can pull it from my own Steam Workshop. Oh my god, my tummy. Rumbling, rumbling. I'm hungry, it's rumbling, rumbling. Eat some fucking food. Do anybody watch uh, uh, Attack on Titan? Anyway, um, <laughs> what? I just wanted to say that the the mass units and thrust units are very very similar in that they're arbitrary. The video that I have on my channel that says you can make anything float like magic, or I think it's the magic number is three point eight one eight. Um. I suggest you check out that video, but basically it's the relationship between the mass units and the thrust units. So if you wanted to thrust upwards to lift 1,000 mass, uh, you need a certain amount of thrust units, right? A thruster power. Um, the relationship between that is what I go into in the, into the video. But both of them are arbitrary. You can say it's like 5,200 newtons of force, but what's a newton relative to these mass units? You know what I mean? Are the are these actually kilograms or not? I don't know. I haven't tested them myself. 
anyway, I gotta, I got I gotta actually end the stream today, folks. Thanks for hanging out, folks. This was, uh, this was, this was a lot of fun. I had fun with these challenges. Uh, tomorrow we're gonna be checking out some mods. Actually, tomorrow I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to do two streams tomorrow. Uh, some demo games, some brand new stuff that we've never seen before, and then a second uh, scrap mechanic stream where we'll check out some mods and, uh, and you know some of these creations that we missed. Let's see. Actually, is it a thousand? I know. I know the wood is for sure like five hundred, unless they change that too. Two fifty. Right. I'm an idiot. I forgot about that. I'm an idiot part. This one's five hundred. Seven fifty. What's five hundred? <laughs> They changed the weights on me. Uh, it, it's it's not the because the concrete weighs more. The concrete would be a thousand. Twelve fifty. Blah They're all multiples of two fifty. So it's um. Wood is one third of metal, and one fifth of concrete. Anyway, I'm I'm out of here. I'm out of here. I gotta end the stream at some point. I'm out of here. <laughs> See you guys tomorrow. You did subscribe, right? Dude, I can't wait to look at the analytics of that video where I did that stupid outro that I put so much effort in telling people to subscribe. I want to see how many subscribers I actually got from that video. Anyway, I'm I'm, I'm out of here.